fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head, so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanga. It's Flextravaganza time, folks. From Thursday the 31st of December at 6 p.m. to Friday the 15th of January at 6 p.m., we would like to offer you our thanks and best wishes for 2021 by bringing you our Flextravaganza event. If you add at least £5 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flextravaganza Flexi Basket offers. This means you can spread the cost of your entire order over two equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you a more cost efficient way of shopping with us. Flexible payments for everyone. Join us from Thursday, the 31st of December, to make your shopping experience with Hachanda even easier. Hello, I'm Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a channel. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. A very good Wednesday morning to you. It's Wednesday the 6th of January. I know that's my new thing now, so giving you the date whenever I'm I know, I'm like, good morning, Britain. I'd like a little clock down here somewhere as well. With a little uh, We're not allowed. Uh, uh, good morning, I hope you're well. Uh, we're here again. Here we are on a wet and miserable Wednesday. I don't know it's like where you are, but oh, it's dull here. Oh, it's dull. Uh, the building, the weather. All dull apart from one thing. Yes, the sunshine in my life. Here she is. It's, I'm going to introduce her straight away before I even tell you about Paper Rose. It is our very own. It's Karen Keats, everyone. Hello. <laughs> sunshine. How are you, my love? I'm all right, sweetheart, thank you. But uh, I need to let you know, every time I drive down here, I get halfway here and then it rains. Well... So it must be the it must be the area, or it's me that's bringing it. Oh, I reckon it's you. Uh, so uh, you're in for a treat this hour. You really are. This is one of two live hours uh, that we've got today with Paper Rose. Um, but I'm going to tell you now. First of all, we're busy on ready on some of the dies already, so you are really shopping ahead of me before we even went live. Uh, there's a lot of new todays as well, and what I also like about these, and what I need, I'm going to tell you straight away, if they go in this hour, 
We don't know if we can get them back for this hour, OK? Because there's nobody in the building yet. No one starts till like quarter past 11 in this place. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, it's true. Uh, so if, if you want them, get them while you can. They might come in at nine, but then they don't really do much till quarter past 11. Uh, shop ahead on the website or tap the app is the quickest and the easiest thing to do. Uh, let's quickly go on about our first one that we got. Now, these are quick and easy dies that we're looking at. Dies that you can run straight through your machine. Uh, your papers that you've got there, and then you are good to go. For the sheer fact, look at the die you get here. You're getting two dies in this one. Uh, you're getting your centre die, and then you get your outer edge die as well. Let me show you uh, what the dies look when you cut them out. For the sheer fact, uh, when you put them all together, it looks like this. you get that beautiful uh, embossed look that you've got, and then that beautiful border, and sort of like a pinhole detail uh, that you've got on there. But this one, is I want to show you. So this is with all the bits left out. Okay, so this has all been pieced out. But how beautiful is that? To paper piece them back in would be absolutely stunning. And for £19.99, pence, but remember, we're in Flex Travaganza, which means all these prices that you are now seeing here, you can split the cost into two. So we're basically looking at £10. £10 today is going to get you two dies. Big dies where you can create stunning, stunning cars. And the snippability that you've got in that border is absolutely phenomenal. 445948 is your item number. Uh, look at some of the stuff you can create there. How beautiful is that? Uh, what I want you to do is I want you to shop ahead of me on the website. It's the quickest and the easiest place to go. Uh, things are going out already. Get in quick. Those heart borders are absolutely stunning. Uh, if you can get a hold of them heart borders as well. Uh, we've also then got the, that big lattice work that you've got there. Is a beautiful background die. That's on a bit of craft card uh, with a few of your wild flowers that we've got on the show. Things like the roses or the leaves would work beautifully uh, together. This one uh, is beautiful as well. That is the, uh, the strip frame die. It cuts everything out to be like a little bit of artwork. So if you've got a photo, run it through. It will split that photo up for you. I also like the Polaroid frame die as well. You're getting four dies in that Polaroid frame. Uh, the circle grid as well. There is so much on this show that we have to rattle through. And we've got live demonstrations as well. Right, then, let's go back to our next one. This next one I also adore. This one I can see in vellum would be absolutely stunning. On your card, just slowly wrapped around to hold maybe a menu or an invitation uh, that's in there. 19 pounds and 99 pence is what you're looking at. How beautiful is that? And let me show you what it looks like when you're together. Ha that is stunning. Karen, these are beautiful decorative dies, but they're also dies that you can run through and they're quick and easy cards. They're quick and easy cards. We all sit there, we all start doing backgrounds. I've got boxes and boxes of backgrounds and don't know what to do with them. Yeah, we can build on them, but just run a black a pit through a nice black piece of card or a colour coordinating card and you've got a beautiful, a beautiful example there. Use it, don't, don't glue it down, just glue the edges down. You've got a pocket. There's that pockets nice. there, yeah. That. Put into it, make little borders around you, around yes. your card socks, around your pictures. I like this, because cards like that, ignore that it's a card for a minute and take off the bottom one for me. How beautiful that would be as an envelope. Mm -hmm. How stunning for an envelope, the back of an envelope Maybe me and Lace or a little Don old doily that you've got that you can run through. You don't. So you're still getting that finesse, but you're also getting that be beauty. And it looks like you've done a lot more hard work than you actually have. Um, I know that wasn't proper English either. Uh, but look at the die. If you can paper piece, this is what I love about this. Uh, you can paper piece back in. So if you've got the time and you've got the patience and you're no good at colouring, the dies will do the hard work for you. Yes, this is the, um, unfortunately due to Christmas, the design team didn't get any of these. There's a couple that's repeated at the end. Sam King kindly got them out of a stash and made me a few, but she's made them from three, three, two stamps, uh, one stamp and two dies. So all these have all been done, but I must say they're the quickest prep I've ever done. That's good. It's the quickest prep because it's been, good. pick a background up, pick a nice decorative paper up, Cut it out, put something on it, and it's made 
absolutely simple cards. If you are batch making, we all know these days that you can't sell cards for four and five and ten pounds like we used to do That's years right. ago. People, because of the cheaper card stalls that there are, people will pay gladly a pound. If you can do it in speed enough time with minimum effort, minimum products, you can make your money back doing it that way. And these are, these are easily one pound, one pound, fifty cards and they'll fly out. Well, they, they really, really will. £19.99, and pence, and you're only paying £10 today for this across two flexible payments. 581661 is your item number uh, that we're looking at for this one. Uh, now we've got the hearts up next. This is the heart strip border that we're looking at. Now, I absolutely do this. And just before we came on air, I was flicking through some of the samples uh, that I have here. And I said to Karen, I said, could you pay piece the hearts back in? And Karen was like, well, you could do... Or you could keep them for a shaker card. Yes, the arts come out beautifully for a shaker card. There are two border dies there. They are they are separate. So there are, I've done two different boards with them. Uh, I've done a, a, like a, a strip with... Uh, you can see just the difference in them. One is fairly straight and one has got a gradient on it. But if you do the strips, you can mix and match them and that's a full size A5 card. That's just been put through once. However, if you're doing a 12 by 12, you can add on to it. I think that's you beautiful. can do it as a row. And then I started, I got a little bag and I started putting them in a little bag. And I don't need to buy sequins anymore. Every time I use that, put them in a bag, I've got a shaker card. You have got a shaker card, but then I was thinking if you do it in white and then you cut them out in red card and keep the red ones, you could paper piece them back in so there'll be red hearts with white borders. And then you could flip them around as well. And it would work wonderful uh, for things like Valentine's Day or any, any event where love is the main aspect, which is most events, let's be fair. You could use it for so many more things. £13.99, split the cost into two as well. You might as well use it while it's there. £7 today is what we're looking at 536947 is your item number from then we move on to some more of the borders these are the waves that we've got now if you've got things like under the sea uh, maybe from our Dolly Dimples. I know she's done Under the Sea theme. Um, I think Cool Cats have done Under the Sea as well. Indigo Blue. Indigo Blue have done Under the Sea as well. Uh, our abs have done. Studio Light have had Under the Sea. We, lo wants. we love Under the Sea. Yeah. Uh, but these would work really really well i love this like the bubbles breaking yes. on the sand don't need to even be on the sea if you put that if you put that horizontally it can be under the sea if you put it down the side of the card like i've done i've made i've, I've just done them as a as a card on there they're just pretty they are they're beautiful. just pretty they're, they're, yeah. they're, they're, you can't even see that there's that there's a sea there and then that's just showing you how they fit together how one cuts out and what you get left from it. So even if you didn't want the bubbles on, cut it the other way around and you've got a decorative edge. I like that. Cut four to, do it four together. A big, if you've got an A4 machine, yeah. do four together. And you can have the wavy frame. You know, like we did the wonky circles. Yes. You can do your own wonky frames. Uh, my director, uh, I say my director, like I have my own personal one. Uh, my director, it goes with wherever I go. Walk, Adam. Uh, this one, it said it looks like the uh, top of the swag of the curtains, like theatre curtains. So if you do that in red, yes. velvet, red velvet card, so red card, and then you put velvet down the side and ruched it up a bit like it looked like a miniature uh, scene, yes. and then put your scene building in, like for Blanche's circus theme uh, that we had a couple of months back, and would look John's, absolutely beautiful. John's card that he did with a, you know, and did his toolbox. Yes. Put it down in front of that, we love over John's the toolbox. top, and then put some down the side. It would, it works wonders. Uh, there's some other dies that we've got on the show, uh, but just so you can see, it's I'll just been done in different colour paper, just so that you can see. See how you can put two together. Uh, you see that middle one? Not the flower, the one behind it. That's the first die I bought you. See, that's the centre of that first die. You can stitch into that as well. Oh, you can stitch into that. Oh, it's holes in there. If you get, if you look there, you can stitch. You can do all your embroidery into that. Unfortunately, my eyes don't don't appeal to bro embroidery anymore. <laughs> Neither did my mind. Never did. Uh, Twelve pounds and ninety nine. They tell I can't sell like that. I'll write them in a menu. Uh, Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. Eight four eight seven seven. Three is your item number. Let's press on because I've still got loads to do and we're already at 10 past already. Uh, right then, this next die, 
Uh, sound waves uh, with this one. So in theory, it should go that way, just to ruin everyone's shots. Uh, but it should go that way, uh, because when it's cut out, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get the beautiful sound waves that you've got there. This is something different. It's really, really different, yeah. Cut it down, I've made borders. I think I've done a couple of samples with borders on. I've uh, That one there that you're showing there, The it's a background. I've cut it out and then I've used the cutout bit from the white and stenciled on top of the background and then put the white die cut on top. So you've got, that's made it black behind it. That's nice. And if you, if you just lift one of the edges, you will see that that is completely flat apart from the die cut on top of it. And there's some of Leone's sayings, break I some rules. Absolutely love it because it works on so many levels. It really, really does. It's very good for masculine cards as well. You know, we're always hard to make cards for us males. Uh, but this, you're right there with the sound waves that you've got. I reckon as well, if you cut into it, I'm just looking at it now on the screen, uh, if you cut into it, you could get obviously different levels. You could have little rolling hills that's in there if you wanted to as well. High uh, rise flats. A yes, row of flats. little flats if you cut off the Do bottom. A, yeah. Put a little it, yellow card behind like little windows and yeah. black out some of the windows as well. It's like it's, a, it is. It's like a th um, city cityscape is what it. we're looking at. A beautiful twelve pounds and ninety nine pence is what you're looking at for these one three five four five nine three is your item number. This next one I also adore as well because I think there's so much scope with this. Ali only bought us something similar yesterday. I'm all days merging to one in this place. I'm sure it was yesterday. Um, but I can see if you cut this out of cut sturdy cardstock, like, and I'm thinking wool. I reckon you could stitch through this. Oh, definitely, you can uh, you can pop through that. Like yeah. little weave. Weave in, weave in and out of it, definitely, yes, yeah. I've put on the uh, sample there, I've just done one that's embossed, you know, through your machine. So oh, that is you that can embossed? Sit that, yeah, one's been cut out and the other one, it's not that I haven't cut it out properly, it's just in, I've embossed it. That's nice. Once again, her retro cards, you could do like your little game of Tetris with this if you wanted to. And think games like that would be absolutely beautiful. Uh, cut it down and use it as trellis. Paper piecing, cut them out in all different colours, and then you can have kids make little pictures. Little mosaics. Yeah. Yes, cut it out in funky foam. Little mosaics that you've got in there. Eighteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Five nine zero eight three three is your item number. Even though I say eighteen pounds, remember to be splitting these prices into two. Okay, we reflect extravaganza, uh, which means any price I give you be nine pounds fifty is what you're actually looking at uh, for that one. Right then, let's press on to the roses. Uh, these roses are nice as well. This is a big old die, it's, is what we're looking at it's here. It's beautiful. It's a, it's a go-to die uh, when you want some flowers on and you, you haven't got the time to make the flowers. Oh, look at that. Yeah, and that's just, a, that's just simply cut out a sheet of backing paper, a circle with a few lines written around it, and then cut out. But don't forget, you can still emboss into cardstock, cut one out, emboss into cardstock, and then put another on top, and it makes it look... Um, plink, um, padded. Oh, oh yes, I've got you put a it underneath. Sample. I'll be doing a demo on that to pad We it. always forget, though, with large dies like this, you think you have to use the entire die. You really, really don't, because look at what you can achieve when you're just using a little bit of the die that we've already got in there. We've also got these frames. I think they're coming up shortly uh, out in the show as well. £16 and £99 is what you're looking at. 614365 is your item number for those beautiful roses uh, that you've already got. Up next is the daisies, is what we're looking at. I love these as well, because you're getting so much for your money. Uh, so you get the inny and the outy with this one, don't you? You and certainly the do. And the centre. The centre's for the big one. Um, but don't forget, you can cut these out in vellum. Cut the backing paper out. Cut them out in vellum, and then just stick the hole in the middle, and it uh, it flicks up. You can. That's got dimension on it. If you if you have a feel of it. Oh Lift yeah. It up. It has. Yeah. And all I've done there is I've uh, used some uh, pigment powders with some glossy accents, but it's only stuck with the middle, so you've got you've got movement in your. It's in beautiful, it. and you could be creating this as well. You're getting seven dies in total, is what you're actually getting for sixteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Two one four five one seven is your item number for the flowers. If you're going for flowers, you're going to want leaves as well. We've got a set of leaves, which I I love these sets of leaves because. What you're getting in here is three different leaves that, that in theory, you could make a wreath with this, because it would all go the same way. 
And it's you get variety because you get the different leaf. It's not the same leaf over and over it's, and over again. That's right. There's three different patterns into the leaves. Cut all three out in one go and keep cutting and keep cutting. And then you make your wreath. And then, obviously, you can put your flowers around the outside. Even those flowers that we've just seen before, you could make them with the backing, with the backing on. But absolutely them. beautiful, aren't they? Um, and if you want them the other way around, just turn your card upside down. Yeah, just flip it around and you get a left and right that you've got in there as right. well. Uh, you got your three leaves are 9 dollars if I said I'll give you those today for £4. Pound. four ninety nine today. Four nine. Oh, I added on ninety nine p then. Uh, four ninety nine today. Uh, you can have them on Flex Extravaganza, and they'll be sent to you today. Uh, two six three seven seven two is your item number. Uh, from there, this one is the strip frame. This one is amazing for what you can achieve when you get this home. Let me show you what it cuts out like first. So this is what it cuts out like. So this is what you're actually going for. This is what the die was intended for. This is your waist. Sort of reminds me of those robots that turn into cars. Um, I can't remember the name of them. Transformers is what it reminds me of. The head of a transformer. Uh, but you can go from that to that. That's nice. This, you can also... I love that's this. That's a two for that one. Oh, so that's what you were intending to... That's what you were intending to make. That's the waste. It's a two for. I think I like the waste as well. Like, yeah, just put a greeting on or a... Um, you've got a two foot price of one and that's going through and using it twice. Love these. Look at that little stitch detail that you've got running through. Then... Take cards never really work on TV, but... Cause I, I just end up doing this and you can't really see them. But how nice is that? How beautiful is this? It's a beautiful... Because you could sort of go like greenhouse effect if you wanted to. Certainly, certainly. Um, just a bit of acetate, stick it onto acetate. I love it. And a cool one behind. And then, that's what you're printed... That's what, I should have really showed you this first. Uh, that's what you're die cutting out. But then look at what you can create. Just a little bit of fun. I love it. That was the, the, the bits out of the middle, and I thought, that's my wonky town. I absolutely love it. <laughs> wonky town. I think I've been there on a few nights. Nice they, no, uh, they were a song like that, weren't they? But it began with an F, funky town. Funky town. That's so it. all be careful what you say at this time of the morning. All the songs are available. They are. Jolene, eighteen pounds and ninety nine pence zero nine two five zero one is your item number. Well worth getting a little look at this one as well. And if your mudgy was, I know I think I'd like the entire counter. I'm not going to lie, I've liked everything so far. I'm loving these dies. Uh, Polaroids. Um, Polaroids are very in at the moment. They were very big Christmas presents this year. I know I, I bought my mom uh, a Polaroid uh, for a camera this year for Christmas, and I bought some spare film as well. You didn't need to know that, but I thought I'd tell you. Uh, but you can now make your own from the photos that you've already got at home. You can, and this is a decent size one. I've seen them previously, and they have been really, you know, really small, only about for a, for a, a, a one like and a half. Passport photo, yeah, isn't passport they, normally? photos. But this one's a nice, a nice one. But it's not just for just for photos. I've just used the stamp that we've got previously, and it's still on the website. Um, oh, I like this. And uh, just put a, a picture behind it. This is nice. Look at this little notepad. So you can create, I don't know why I need to show you the notepad, but I will. Uh, but you don't get the notepad and you don't get this. But that's what you can create uh, when you take it home. I absolutely adore. So any of the pictures, and if you're nervous about colouring, or you're nervous about, if you're nervous about doing anything, you want to do a thing on a smaller scale, this is nice because it frames your work. So if you've done a larger image and you think, well, I don't really like that, but I like certain areas, Cut a few of these out, place them on, then cut them out, then you've still got all that work yeah. that's there and you've not yeah. lost anything. You're just changing your work around. Uh, for £11.99, split the cost into two flexible payments uh, on this one. I adore it. I really, really do. Because then you've also got your borders uh, in there. You've got your little banners in there that you can put along the bottom. Uh, there's some beautiful frames you can buy at the moment with a piece of string and little pegs uh, across the string. I was going to do that, but I couldn't. I, I couldn't find it. I brought it out one day to do something, put it away, and I couldn't find it. This would so work I wonders. ended up putting them on a piece of um, mount board. This would work absolute wonders. It really would with those frames. You can get them from anywhere, Matland, your next, and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, but they are your B and M's. Uh, you can get them from anywhere, but they do look absolutely stunning. Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Right, we're nearly there, people. We're nearly there. Uh, circles is what we're going to look at next. Uh, how beautiful are these? So this is what you're actually getting. 
So this is what we'll die cut out for you with the beautiful uh, pin detail uh, around the circles as well. Obviously, this is going to be your waist. Obviously, it's not waist, but that's what would that's what you would norm genuinely throw away. But look at what you can create now. How beautiful is this? This is absolutely stunning. Just putting little cards behind there. Uh, yeah, you could repeat the pattern if you wanted to as well and go slightly larger. Uh, children's cards, a little Connect Four that you want in there would be nice as well. Uh, I can see little fish bowls. Maybe it's just me. Uh, you can make tiny little fish bowls that are in there with your little fish that you've got. The only reason I say fish bowls is because I saw uh, there's a seven day saver that we've got, which are little see through cellophane bags. And I always like the technique of putting hair gel in there to make it all squizzy. It looks like you're under the sea because it's got little bubbles in. Uh, you could put one of those behind you, see, and it make it look like water, make it look like portholes uh, if you wanted to go and then put your little fish in there. You could do your bags if you wanted to as well. Uh, you could do your cards uh, if you wanted to. Absolutely beautiful. This would also be quite a nice little um, wall chart. So if you're doing diaries and things like that and you want the little tokens, and you, you could mount it onto magnetic sheets. And then you could use them on that on your fridge, like the little circles that you've got there. They're absolutely yeah. beautiful. It doesn't cut around the outside, it just cuts the centre out, it just cuts the holes out. Oh, so you so have to cut it square, out yourself? If you want to cut it out, and so you're not governed by the size of the outside, it's just the holes, so you can place that anywhere. So that one, I, yeah, that's it. That's, that's what, what it cuts do. out. The other side I've cut down, so that it that went onto the sheet. We've cut out ourselves with a pair of yes. scissors. That's what you're going to be creating yep. in your card. Okay. Well, worth having a little, little mole holes, I see as well. Um, £12.49, 500-006 is your item number. Uh, let's jump to the website because we've got craft card on there. Those are those cello bags I was looking at. Uh, five by five, you're getting C6, and you're also getting five by seven, you're getting 200, 200 of each, 600 bags in total, 11 99 If you've never seen that technique before, it's the cheapest hair gel you can find. Squeeze it in, a bit of red liner tape so it doesn't seep out. It literally creates bubbles like you're under the sea which it is a, it's an amazing technique i can't think i think i've seen our lou withers do it i think uh then a little bit of lattice you can't go wrong with a bit of lattice a little bit of texture uh, that we're looking at now uh, this is good for your uh, your climbing flowers uh, if you want to put a little featured background uh, as you can see in this one just here 12 pounds and 99 pence 725897 is your item number uh, for this but then don't just think it's a trellis We've cut a heart out of that one, as you can see there. So we've used it for the heart. It's used for the trellis in the back of them. Our Sam King, done of these. She's very clever, our Sam. Look at that. Did she do this one as well? She did as well. How beautiful. And that is a beautiful sympathy card. That is something you can send, still using that lettuce. And she's, lettuce. Uh, and she's also used that lattice in the back uh, as a stencil just to go through your stencils as well. Uh, beautiful, beautiful cards that you can create uh, for £12 and 99 pence. 725897 is your item number. Then we've got some stamp sets. Now, if you like these stamp sets, I've also got a die set coming up that will cut them out for you. But if you like them, thanks. A heartfelt thanks. I'm guessing that's what the sentiment's meant to say. Uh, then you've got flowers in there. You've got, uh, you're so kind. For all you do, you are so kind. Heartfelt thanks. And you've got a little bee in there as well. Uh, they are beautiful. They really, really are. Ah, Sam's been busy, isn't she? Look at her. Ah, Sam did me a lovely favour. She just sent them. The, the, the design team weren't going to do any of these, but she just did, just did them and sent them to me. I can't thank her enough. Ah, I wonder what date my birthday's on this year. Uh, bear with, bear with. It's a Saturday. Oh, a Saturday. Oh, I like, I like a cheeky Saturday. I don't know if I'm working. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow, let alone 9th of November, October. Cheeky perk for my birthday. Uh, then you get cards in there as well. Uh, it is beautiful. Uh, absolutely beautiful stamp set. Sixteen pounds and ninety-nine. Yeah, it's not even soon. Uh, Sixteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Four zero seven eight four four. But if you're going to start making birthday cards, you might as well make a cheeky one. Pop it in the post now. I won't open it till October. Uh, then we've also got dies on the show as well. Uh, make checks payable to the Adam Humphreys Foundation. Um, it's a lovely foundation for out of work uh, telesales presenters, but not really.
but currently Derek's in there at the moment. That's £19.99. 161129 is your item number for this one. Now, these are the dies that work with the stamps, okay? These work together, they are corresponding together, they work really well together, so if you're not good at fussy cutting, or you're no good at fussy cutting, uh, you can go and cut them out if you so wish. So this is both of them, uh, so you've got the stamp stamped out and what you're actually going, and then uh, that's what they look like once they've been stamped and uh, cut out. So that's what you're going to get from your die cuts there. A beautiful collection. You've seen everything that I've got now. You've seen all me wares, as it were. Uh, you can see them. Should we do it all again on the website? Let's. Uh, so, uh, you've got your first one that's on there is your rectangles. You've got your hearts. You've got your sound waves on there as well. Uh, it's all worth having a little look at everything you see here. Leaves are on there. Uh, you've also got the Polaroid photo on there as well. Uh, it's an absolute stunning collection from the big name of Paper Rose that we've got. But if you have any questions uh, this way that you want to ask our Karen, you can do that. It's entirely up to you, studioschannel.com. But let's get to demonstration to see what we can do when we get these dies home. Let's do it. Right, Karen, I've done my end of the bargain. I'm going home now. You've no, done don't enough. go home. <laughs> No, they're, they're going to be very, very quick dies, be, uh, very quick demos because... Oh, take your time. Well, well no, they're quick demos because they're really, they've been really, really quick. So this is one that I've stamped a background and um, just cut it out and added it together. But if I just go through the die and show you the die, it's a two for die. You can pop it through like that and it will cut through as one or you can cut that separate and that separate. So I'm just going to cut, cut this out uh in black because i want it over now i've got here this morning and um my die machine my die cutting machine's not worked so i've borrowed one so unfortunately i do not know the pressure on this one oh everybody if you, when you get your machine you will know the pressure i don't know the pressure it's under a lot it's 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 under a lot of pressure but it could be that the rollers are, are, are more stretched than what's on mine i would say it would be it would be so i'm thinking i'm going to put an extra sheet of card through just in case to shim it i did have a quick try of one this try of one this morning and it's a lot looser than, than mine was. So I'm going to pop that on there. I need to tape it up. I thought I'll tape you've got, a, you've got a loose roller? I've, no, I've just got a, lo a loose cog, me. <laughs> I'm glad a loose cog. screw. <laughs> so I'm going to put... That a, took us off air at 27 <laughs> minutes past seven in the morning. Cog. Loose screw. <laughs> Oh, yeah, let's use, let's use the word. Why so I'm going to put another screwed, piece of paper on Can top like? and hopefully we'll get a cut first time. If you don't get a cut first time, always use your metal shims that come with your die cutting machines. Mm -hmm. But don't be like me and forget it. I've left it upstairs in my craft room. Oh. And I'm hoping that this will go through first time. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, there we go. So it's not actually cut it first time. So please don't worry. You just pop it back in. Pop it back in where it was. Make sure that it all clicks into place. And you will feel where it clicks in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to emboss it with an embossing mat. mat. That's the one. And hopefully that will just finish the cut off. Our floor manager thought we were calling him. Then. Oh, sorry, Matt. Ma ma. Because we all paused and we all said, Matt. I might pop it through twice. That's fine. Just to make sure. You know, you know, I hope, I hope Mum's not watching, but you know what it means now? What? I can buy myself a new machine. Yes. <laughs> Even if that one still works, I'd still go out and buy yourself a new one. It didn't work. It just didn't work. New year, new machine. New year, it's a new, new event machine. Got coming next week. So I can see that with me embossing it, how, how it's pushed it through, but it still may not have cut. So, oh, I don't know. We're not doing too bad on it, are we? Not too bad. It's that looks, not, that looks beautiful, though. It's coming out absolutely. Would it be easier? Beautiful. Obviously, I'm just saying. I don't would it, if you had one of those little roller things do you need one of those i would get a brush for things like that and i would also do what uh, paul does from clarity and get a little a little thing or just forever keep overing up no, that's true i've got a little desk tidy coming up this afternoon have you yes 
uh, with our John Lockwood, Crafts oh, 2. Oh, it's got a little over. The Crafts 2 Hoover, £9.99. Yeah. Jim Pink. It's this afternoon, I, uh, 2 o'clock. So it's not, it's not quite no, cut not on there, but you would need to put some shims in and do it. However, is one that I've done earlier. That's nice. It's not the die, it's the fact that I don't know the machine. And, I've, and I should have used my metal shim that I've left at home. So I've got the die and I've cut it out all in one. And then what I've done here is, you can see, can you see all the background of that? If you tilt it That's forward slightly for slightly. me. Slightly, can you see? Isn't there that beautiful? Go. That's nice. Absolutely Marble. gorgeous. Do you know what it is? Brushos. <laughs> it's a studio light stamp back in. <laughs> Give over. No, it's just studio light backing stamp. It's the back of a studio light. Oh, my word. Yep. That looks like brushos or and something. And then that's the same one, and I've put the centre bit through, but can you see all... There we go. There we go. And you can stitch through those and everything. So it's showing you how beautiful this die can can cut into it. and then, and Because nice. this is thick. This yeah, is, it's this thick is packaging, backing paper. Packing cards. Backing paper. And then we've got a, we've cut a flower out of the same backing paper. Yep, the little flower. I will cut one out in black. Let's see if my machine will work. It will work wonders for me. Well, the Ochanda machine. I will have to have a play with this one when I'm in the dressing room to uh, make sure that You've got I. You've a dressing uh, room. I've got a room. Yeah, I've got they, a little. They give you a room. They've give me a room. Yeah, that's probably because they want to keep me out of everybody. A room? A room. It's not a room with a view, though. I get changed in the corridor. Well, that's what... Yeah, but that's for our entertainment, not yours. Oh. <laughs> I wonder why my robe was getting smaller. <laughs> oh, Adam, you do leave me astray. Don't blame me. It's nothing to do you with me. You bring out my wicked sense of humour. Nothing humor. to do with me. You certainly do. You bring out my wicked, wicked sense of you. Oh, little tinker. And there you can see... Let's see if we can get this out. I got about halfway here and I thought, have I put my metal shim in? <gasps> no, I oh. haven't. And then, see how delicate this is. What a quandary. How many miles are you away from home? Uh, about 55. Oh, and, and just don't... Have I brought my metal shim? And have I brought my metal shim? You, 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 you don't know how my brain works, but look a beautiful. Well, I think we, we've got a really good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to... Have we brought it together enough? <laughs> I roughly know how we work. <laughs> Behave. Behave. You get me into trouble. You don't get into trouble. You palm it <laughs> off on me. It was all Adam's fault. It's all Adam's fault, yeah. So we're bobbing that one in. And then to stick this one, I'm not going to try and get glue all in the inside of there. I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue around the outside. It would have been quicker if I, if I wasn't distracted by Adam. <laughs> don't, don't be blaming me. Uh, we are busy. We are um, very, very busy this morning for a 7 o'clock show. Just using it back of my hand to take off the excess. 7.30 in the morning. This the is the uh, two-for-one die. The details on the screen, £19.99. Pence. Check out the website for all the other dies, because uh, I don't think we'll have time to do a whole counter run. There's loads on, isn't there? But they're all nice and quick Join ones. us on... We're on, we're on the Facebook as well. Are we on the Facebook? We're on the Good face, morning, we're on the Facebook. Facebook. I bet they're all there. Diamond... Heather's probably watching in a rollers. Uh, you probably, Dave's on there. Um, Dave's in his rollers. Um, <laughs> they're just his roller skates. Uh, I haven't got a tablet, so I can't see you. I can't see any of your comments. Uh, but Sylvia's there as well. Uh, Sarah John's there. They're all the the whole gang here. All your all your f favourite followers, yeah. They're, they're all just there every morning. I don't think they log off. To be honest. So then I've cut her backing out. They've only just finished saying hello. <laughs> It. You know what it's like when you watch your Facebook Live, everyone says hello, and it takes up a path, and then you get to the end of your Facebook Live, and about now they'll all be saying goodbye, or oh, I must get ready for work. <laughs> bye then, <laughs> bye, bye. It takes a half hour to say bye to them all. It's like the Waltons. So I've just popped a little bit into the centre, because I want that little bit of dimension. When that's finished, I can 
bring it I to... I love this. This is beautiful. It's just so simple. We've had more time chatting than I have uh, shown people how to do But that things. is what crafting is all about. Well, it's enjoying about enjoying yourself. yourself. Yeah. So, Adam, do we want the pink to the right or the pink to the left? <laughs> oh, um, well, let's go, let's, let's go to the left. Right, to the left. So we're going to pop the flower on just there. And then I've got a Studio Light sticker, because these stickers are becoming really, really popular, aren't they, instead of yeah, stamping? Yeah, they are. They love them. They're quick and easy, They're they? quick and easy, again. aren't they? And then if you have that onto a card, it's only taking two minutes. I've had more problems with trying to get used to the machine that's not mine, that's because nice. mine has broken. But Lovely. two different ones, and it's, it's very minimalistic, but the dice do all the work. In theory, looking at that card, the one that we've just made, the one with the packaging, you only need the die to do the outside and the inside, the daisy, a bit of cardstock and a set of brushos. If you were going to create... If you were going to do it from, from, from brushos, yeah, yeah. That's a, that could be a mop-up that you've used for the old inks that you've already got. You see how quick and easy these dies put together a whole new card. And no doubt, if you do that in different colours, as we've just seen, they look two completely different cards. But they're the same. It's all come from the same die. Then from the paper piecing, you could put the things back in if you wanted to, to create a whole new look if you wanted to go down that route. £19 and £99. Four four five nine four eight is your item number. Uh, this is the one that Karen was actually using at the moment. So you get the die and you also get the inserts, which you can stitch through if you so wish to as well. And remember, with it being a die, you can also do something. You can use it as a stencil, which I think is absolutely amazing. At £19 and £99. This next one, I think it's worth its weight in gold. It's very, very busy. Uh, this is the Happy Days die. You get the two uh, flood lees in there and you get Happy and Days, which I think is absolutely stunning. Uh, when it cuts out, it's going to... Oh! When it cuts out, it's going to look like... I don't know, we looked at the roof. There are. Uh, There we got the dies. Uh, so that's what the dies look like. 19 bands and 99 pence. Please don't, Karen. I'm not going to mop. Uh, so. <laughs> Uh, 19 pounds, oh, I'm wet floor side. 19 pounds and 99 pence, 581661 is your item number. Uh, then we've got your slimline hearts that we've got on there as well. Once again, uh, you are getting uh, this, so you can create these things, but because you get them both in there, you can run them through to a little, little bit like this if you wanted to as well. £13 and 99 pence, 536947 is your item number. Uh, up next, you've got the waves. Once again, an amazing little product worth of the waves. You get sort of the bubbles and the crashing waves that's in there. I don't, think our, I don't think our baker, my director, is actually watching the same show that I'm trying to, that I'm trying to present. <laughs> so, your waves that we're looking at here, uh, no doubt you've come back on a shot of Karen in a minute and I'll still be talking. Uh, so you've got the beautiful waves that we're already looking at. Uh, so, oh... I might not have won any awards, but I give it a good go. Uh, so you've got the bubbles in here. He wouldn't stand for it. Uh, so you've got the waves as well that you've already got. How beautiful are these? £12.99. And remember, all these prices that you've got... Uh, all these prices you can split into two as well. Then you've also got the sound waves. The sound wave. Abak loves the sound waves. He's, he does. He does like genuinely like in this one. Uh, Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. That's what it looks like when it's cut out. Um, three five four five nine three is your item number. Let's see if this works. Let's go back to Karen. Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry, and I didn't need to get a mob. I was just, you know, when you grunt when you laugh. I was. <laughs> <laughs> You do make me laugh. So what I'm going to do is this one. And this is really, really, really... Go on, what have I said? What have I done now? Nothing, you just... just oh, look, I made you a good take. Uh, you just made it work. <laughs> right, here we go. Here we go. What are we making? Bring it back, bring it back. So this one, this is so simple. It's two pieces of card. 
So I've got my card back in. I don't do back ins because obviously I don't need to, need to have them. Um, I don't. The, my, my samples. I, they would normally be a card. No, that's fine. I've got a plain, plain piece of white, and I've just used one of my Studio Light border dies with it, and then I've got a black piece of card. I'm using two dies, um, and this one here. I'm going to use it as a stencil. So what I have done oh. is I've got some of Barbara's stencil. Oh, yeah, you know, stencil, uh, sheets. Uh, stencil sheets. And I've cut it out. And then I'm going to cut this, this one out, and this is how that, that, that's going to cut. I'll cut that one live, and let's hope we can get it through the machine. And you can see I do use it, because all my tape's still on it, and there's still bits into it. And my brush is still in my crafting room, so... I'm thinking of moving my crafting room and expanding. Oh, where are you moving to? Living room. Ah. <laughs> I'm thinking of moving to the living room. What, and have the craft room as a living room? And having my craft room as a living room, yes. Yeah, oh. because that's I spend most of my life in my craft room. So, so you have to go downstairs to your craft room and then upstairs to the living room, I'm guessing? No, because my craft room is only six foot by six foot. It's the most tiny, it's a box room. Oh. It's only a box room, so... Could you get a TV and a sofa in there, though, bless you? In the box room? Yeah. Can't even get a three-foot bed in it. <laughs> I don't want you sitting on the floor watching I'm us. nearly crapped on the floor. Bless you. I spend more time in the craft room going like this and lifting up and trying <laughs> to find things. Because it's like, it's so tiny. So tiny. I'm not sure whether that's cut through on this one. However, what we will will do is we will just emboss it just in case, yeah, so that it gives us a, a deeper emboss. Oh, you do make me laugh, Adam. We'll get that embossed and see if it works. I get a new machine. I can't believe my machine won't work. Well, I wouldn't mind, but it's so heavy to carry as well. Well, hell, we'll get you a lighter one. I don't want... Uh, yeah. I'll get a new one. Oh, look at that. Get a windy one. Out. I've got windy ones. Oh. It's just... Is it just the ease? I'm just lazy. Oh, I know a man who can get you a machine. Oh. John Lockwood. Yes. He's got one in the back of his van. So we're on one of that pace table this afternoon he has out front. <laughs> well, when he's doing all his wares, bin selling bags. all his he wares. He sells bin bags, swing yeah. film. What is it? A uh, yard <laughs> sale? <laughs> and Mac 3 razors. Look at oh, he does a good deal. Look at that. That's beautiful. <laughs> been doing a yard sale. <laughs> them big lighters with the clicky thing. <laughs> what, like this? Yeah, one of the big ones. He sells them. <laughs> He's not just a crafter, our job. Oh, so no, what no, we've no. done is we've just, we're just going to use this. And you can see it's, uh, I've cut this out. And it's beautiful. It's that sticky stuff. A little bit of ink. Oh. Hang on, we'll change our mind. We'll do the job right, shall we? We're going to stick this one on first. And I'm just going to put a bit of glue on my hands. I'm not really a lover of this, but sometimes needs must. I'm doing too much laughing and not enough demoing. No, it's all right. Well. Just so you know, we've got about eight minutes left. Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can get another one in. So this one's going to stick on. We can't get another one in, yeah, I can't. No. If I stop chatting so much, we can get another Let's one in. And I then ain't got much to do. That's going to go over the top. And then what we're going to do, no, we're doing it this way. We're going to pop it there. And then we're going to just pop our hand there and just blend around the outside of it. And I'm only blending a little bit around the outside. Just to give it like a, what do you call it, shadow, an halo? Yeah, like a little halo. Little yeah. halo. Something that I don't have. Look at that. You've got a halo. And then you see here, I'm going to match it up. So if you wanted to die cut this and match it up, just put one over the top of the other and it all matches. Turn it round and do the next bit. This is nice. It's pretty, isn't it? It's really pretty and it's not taken a lot. It's not taking anything to do, it's no faff. 
These are nice Saturday and Sunday afternoon cards. They're make. nice ones. I've got a sticker, one of Leone's sticker. Find it right way up. We're going to put balance just there. All you need to do, get your card base. And it, it, it's, I, I can't believe number of number of uh, uh, cards I've done and just picking backgrounds out. But there we go. Exactly the same card, but it looks totally different because it's in two different colours. And we've all got stamps and everything else. Now, the pink one. Uh, t -t -t now, other one. Other one. There we go. Uh, beautiful. <laughs> it's eight. Eight. It's quarter to eight. I'll just about start waking up now. No, I'm there. I'm there. about quarter past. I'll wake up. Uh, yeah, you've, you've come a long way. I've got different two hours this morning. Ooh. I was up at half past two. Went Quite to bed past at two. Yeah, we're half past two. Went to bed at twelve and up at half past two. Please drive <laughs> safely. She is fine. She will have forty winks at the end of this. Oh, I definitely. Would, yeah, I yeah. Would tuck her in. Oh, I would no, tuck her in with a with a shoe people sleeping bag. I, I slept eighteen hours day before. <laughs> oh my lord. Uh, eighteen pounds and ninety nine pence. What was she up to? Uh, five nine zero eight three three. Right, let's be quick. That was for, was for uh, the grid system uh, that we're looking at there as well, which is absolutely beautiful. There's so much you could do with it. I reckon if you used a bit of wool and a darning needle, uh, you could stitch through that as well and do a beautiful uh, designs and hearts and fleur de lis and flowers. Uh, all the way through. Absolutely stunning stand. Something else that Karen just used in her last demonstration is the rose. Uh, you're getting sort of a two for one in this as well. You've got that large rose at the bottom that is quite easily to snip out if you wanted to. £16.99, 614365 is your item number. Uh, so what you're looking at for the rose, because then you could use the top bit on its own if you wanted to as well. It's entirely up to you. Uh, so this bit's just here. sixteen ninety nine. But remember, you can split the cost of that onto two interest-free flexible payments, which makes it £8.50. 614365 is your item number. Then we've got days. Daisy, Daisy. Uh, you've got the daisies in here as well. Uh, your three daisies looking at different parts of the daisy, which I, I sort of like. You sort of get that balance of the daisy that's in there. And you also get the centre of the daisy as well. £16.99, seven dies in total. Why is it seven dies? Well, you can only see four. You also get the outer edge die that's already in there. So like this, you are also getting the outer edge, so you can cut them out if you so wish. £16.99, two one four. 517 is your item number. Then we've got the leaf. Up next is what we're looking at. We love the leaf. In total. This is a beautiful leaf design uh, that we're looking at here. It is absolutely stunning for the three little leaves that you're getting. They are nice, and if you want them the other way around, obviously you just flip them around. You're going to have needle, uh, leaves that go both way. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence, or four ninety-nine across two flexible payments. Two six three seven seven two is your item number. Uh, the strip frame, <coughs> excuse me, is up next that we're looking at. Uh, this is the strip frame. I love how it does all this. This is absolutely beautiful. It really, really is. Zero nine two five zero one is your item number. Eighteen pounds and ninety nine pence is what we're looking at for your strip frame. Uh, remember, this is what it cuts out like, and then that is your waist. So what you're actually looking for, that's your waist. How beautiful is that? It is absolutely uh, stunning, uh, and you can also create shaker cards. Love them. Absolutely love them. I think it's a, a phenomenal. Uh, something else we've got is the uh, Polaroid uh, that we've got on here now. We do love uh, the little Polaroid that you can create your own little books, which I think are absolutely beautiful. I really do think these are uh, these are nice as well. Uh, your Polaroid photos that you're looking at here, eleven pounds and ninety nine pence. Seven seven five five zero one. Is your item number? Just sign in, it'll be worth some money. Uh, so uh, that is your Polaroid that you've got there. You sell that at the NEC. My signature's in that now. Uh, then, last but no means least, <laughs> one pound fifty. Here we come. Uh, Twelve pounds and forty-nine pence for the circles. Now remember, the circles cut into the card, so that is what you're actually going to be getting. Okay, so it will cut in. If you want to cut them out, then you can also start getting things like this. Obviously, this bit at the top would be your waist. Twelve pounds and forty-nine pence. Five hundred zero zero six is your item number. Right, and Karen, we've got uh, four and a half minutes. Four and a half minutes, plenty of time. 
Find your term. Let me see what I'm doing. That's going there. That's going there. That's going there. So you were talking about the rows. Yep. Shall we just cut it out? Let's do it. Let's do it. This is the one that I cut out live for you. And then you're just going to cut into there. And cut round that little bit. It's only, it's only held together. It sounds really weird and negative. It's only. It's not. It's a positive only. But you've got that one there. And then I'm going to cut that little leaf off there. Like that, and then just this little bit. You can follow it round. It's easy to follow round. It's they've got all the uh, the little cut lines in there, you know that they've been doing for shading. Yeah. And cut that part out. My eyes don't work like they used to do, Ada. Just don't come onto my face because my tongue stuck stuck out. <laughs> you know, like when you cut it. And we got two out of there. Beautiful. And if you were more careful, you'd be able to get more out of that like that. I like that. It's nice. Oh, I think it's really nice. That's another card made out from, from a demo. That I I've love done. that idea. So what we're going to do now is we've got the sound waves. Again, please excuse the, the fact that I'm putting a shim through it. I wouldn't normally, but I don't know this machine. I'm just making sure it'll... Uh, hopefully cut first time my machine was really it got really tight rollers and i knew that if i put it They're through it would do it and all machines are all different you have to get used to them what i'm a bit miffed about is that machine is that the machine that stopped working it's the only one that i brought to uh, to a chander so you can see it's not quite cut cut there however we'll do something else and we'll put this on to see if the emboss can do it and i just kept it in that bag for for a chander so it's not that i've overused it or anything mm. else it's just stopped working probably cold do you think so i reckon if you plug it in in the break i reckon it'll work could be a bit of damping plug couldn't it could be a fuse yep so you can see it's coming through so now it's made it cut so if you do have an embossing mat and sometimes it's not fully cut try an embossing mat if you haven't got a metal okay. a metal shim because your embossing mat will, will cut it through making it look harder than it is but it's not hard honestly <laughs> all, one, all one of them things from scarlet rose oh that's a good idea yeah You've got yeah. minutes to finish this. But you know that bit of wadding? That, um, it's like easy a wadding, isn't it? It's an shim? easy shim and it easy goes shim. in. That's a good idea. Easy shim. However, look, it's can't get my nail under it now. The majority of them have come look out. That. And then I'm just going to push in. Bearing in mind that this is a 300 GSM. I was, that was, that's what sort of cardstock you're using. It's, um, it's Jelly Beans 300 GSM. We had so it one, should uh, have, have uh, coming up tomorrow. Jelly bean craft yeah, card yeah. tomorrow we've got. So it's me that's not cut it out. Let's get a small, a, a thinner sheet. So you, you can the... see that where it has cut, it's just they've got a soft spot got in the 30 middle. Thirty seconds. I've got thirty seconds. However, all you would do is one that I cut out earlier on a machine that worked. Put it into just some stamps around the outside. The st this stamps on the website. Just pop that down the side, like that, and then you've got... I like that. This is one of my backgrounds, but this is not... Uh, I need a thinner, thinner piece of paper. How long have we got? Uh, ten seconds. Ten seconds. I'll cut this on when I first come back on it. What, ten o'clock, is it? You'll be back at ten o'clock. I'll be back at ten o'clock and have that ten o'clock. Thank you, Karen. It's been thank an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much pleasure. for having uh, Thank you to you as well. If you've been watching live, we'll be watching on the socials. Uh, don't go anywhere. I've got a pick of the ape next. I got the one day special next. Heartfelt Creations is what I'm looking at. Then Leo of London and Paper Rose again. It's the one day special. It's next. Hi, I'm Alice from Alice Stitcher Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them.
designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on Agenda. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we are mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. We also have a great little team of other artist friends who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace. And so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia. And along the way, I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers. And that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the channel. Yes, indeed, that was an empty menu, but you know, that's so you can clear your mind and take a walk down the garden path to the beautiful, heartfelt countryside cottage. How beautiful is this? This could be anywhere where you wanted it to be. Now, the cottage that you just saw was made from the imagination.
So don't think dies and stamps just have to be two-dimensional, because they really, really don't. And in the collection I'm about to show you now, you get everything you need to create cards, to create toppers, to create scenes for all year round. Summer, spring, autumn and fall, we are busy already. 40% of the stock has already gone. 183 115 is your item number. We've also got a cheeky Freedom Flexi on there of £42.87 across three flexible payments. But before I tell you what you're actually getting in the kit, let me introduce the lady herself. It wouldn't be heartfelt without her. It's our one and only Nikki. How are you, my love? Good morning. How are you? I'm good, you? I'm brilliant. I'm abs yeah, considering it's early, I'm buzzing this morning. <laughs> that's, that's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's good to know. She's on fine fettle. And we were saying just before we come on air, mm. together we've not worked together for a while in Heartfelt Creations. No. Um, and we were just going through the, the random and how beautiful the collections that Heartfelt bring us are. Because you can do so much Yeah, with you can it. build a scene with it. You can tell a story when making a card. So it isn't just a pretty card. With this one, as you said, you have got all four seasons. So this is going to take you throughout the year. This is going to be able to work so, so well with other collections that you have. And that's one of the things that I absolutely love about Heartfelt. I mean, this one here, you've got your cottage there. And I'm not sure. It's one of the design team that's created it. I'm not quite sure who. It's got a name on it somewhere. There we uh, go. Lynn. Lynn ah, from Lynn. the design team. And I just love the way that she's got the cottage and she's done it in the greys and then that red just pops out. So That's you've beautiful. got that post box. You've got that in there as well. So it isn't all about just the cottage, but the papers in this collection are absolutely beautiful. No, they really, really are. It's a full collection uh, that we're talking about. You can go for things individually if you want as well. Let's go through uh, the papers of what you're actually getting. Now, with the Heartfelt Creations, let's put it right out there first. Um, you're the first people to see the full collection. Uh, isn't that right? Like, it doesn't it launch anywhere else it in the world. No, we've seen some sneaky peeks from the design team from Heartfelt. But this won't be launched worldwide until the 13th of January. So we are very, very lucky to be able to um, give you the first, very yeah, first which, chance which is of buying it. And the papers that Heartfelt hmm. give us, in theory, they're frameable on their own. Yes, they are. You've got ready-made cards here. You've got your beautiful toppers. You've got decorative, beautiful florals on the back. Because we have got 12 designs two of each design so you've got 24 papers in total you've got absolutely stunning scenes in there to cover all of your as i say four seasons you've got winter you've got spring you've got summer you've got autumn i absolutely adore a great these. idea and what a great start to the new year it would be and if you're always through if you think oh i'd love to have a go at crafting but i never know what to craft i never know really know what to do Heartfelt really give you everything that you need, and especially they when do. you're going to go through the seasons like we are now with this one. So you could use the tree bare if you wanted to. Uh, put some of the leaves on the trees. Maybe use some of your other stamps that you've got of the leaf stamps and use them as well. Um, the dies that you're also getting in the kit, they'll also cut out the paper pad as well. So if you're not very good at the fussy cutting, the little elements uh, that you're getting in here. Uh, you can do all that and you can buy an extra paper pad for £17. The details are on the bottom of the screen. Uh, £17.99 will get you an extra paper pad. So there's no more of that, oh, I don't use that one because that's my <laughs> favourite. I like that page. I'm going to keep it. But then you never use it. Um, it is amazing at what you're getting. £42.87 uh, is what you're looking at for this. Remember, that extra paper pad at the bottom for £17.99, you can split the cost into two. Uh, £6 in your flexible basket is what we're looking at at the moment. Remember, because this is now on three flexible payments. Let's go through the stamps and dies of what we're actually getting here. Uh, first of all, kicking off with the Countryside Cottage. So you've got dies on the top, we've got stamps on the bottom. Now these all do marry up, don't they, Nikki? They do. They all coordinate together absolutely beautifully. You stamp your image first and then you use your die through your die cutting machine and it will cut out those images perfectly. With the cottage, the dies that you have, so you've got the outer edge of the cottage, but you've also got the windows and the chimney as well. So you can add decoupage to your creation. 
I love them. I think they're absolutely beautiful. And this is my sort of crafting because you can build a scene. Yes, you can. Tell a story. You can tell a story with these sorts of things. So it's not just uh, a sentiment on there. You can actually tell a story and create that little cottage or that fantasy world that you want to live in. But then it's little add-ons that you get with them. So it's things like uh, the letterbox and the postbox that you get in there. It's the plant pots and that little, even the little grass uh, chivets that you get. So they're little bits of extra grass. Yes. It just adds to the scene and adds to the texture and the detail. It, it does. And it's all in the detail with Heartfelt creations you've even got the birds and the birds nest in there as well that's not look at that so you get the birds and the birds nest in the stamp and in die form as well uh, in there uh, then we move on to your sort of your autumnal we're looking at because we're now talking pumpkins uh, we're yes. talking your wheelbarrows we're talking mm -hmm. vine leaves as well which would work on any card and your sunflowers as well and when we talk sunflowers then the in theory, the package does no justice to these stamps whatsoever because they're big old stamps. They are big stamps as well. And as I say, these are going to work so well with other collections that you've got. These are absolutely phenomenal. You've got uh, your... Is go it, what we've got? We've got a pumpkin. We've, is that a marrow? And uh, then uh, I'm not sure what one yeah, of the Yeah, marrow. Is. But be. they're on one stamp. So you've got three stamps in there. I like in it. one. I really do absolutely love them uh, because then I'm no good at fussy cutting but with this you don't have to be good at fussy cutting because it does the hard work for you. Uh, from there we move on to your um, winter scene is what we're looking at now. My yes, so you've got your snowman, you've got your presents, you've got some gorgeous berries there as well. And I know we've just gone through Christmas, but come on, we can't, you can't have too many Christmas stamps and dies. They all work so well together. Well, they do, and once you've got these, if these are the only ones that are affordable to you, you've now got stamps that are going to last you through the season. So Christmas, I think we start Christmas maybe at the start of March, crafters do, we start it very early. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, you've got those stamps already, you've got the stamps, you've got the little clouds. Clouds are going to work anywhere. Uh, that snowman could be used all year round. We're still getting snow now in some parts of the UK. So you could put those little snowmen on and then you get the tree. This is worth its weight in gold. It really, really is. Uh, for the size of the tree that you're actually getting in there in stamp form, uh, with the leaves on there as well, so you can change the colour of the leaves, you can do bushes, you can do uh, ivy falling down as well, and you also get the dies that are going to cut it all out. Let me show you some of the samples, and you are getting all of this for three flexible payments. You can get the dies individually if you want to as well, £19.99. The stamps are 13 99 so if you just like stamping, maybe in a journal, maybe in a book, it's up to you, but the biggest saving that you're getting if you're a Freedom member, look at that, £54.29 is what you're actually saving on these cards. These are absolutely beautiful. They really, really are. Stunning, simple cards that have been cut and coloured, and some of them have literally... Just use the uh, paper cards. You're getting 11 elements, in theory, is what you're getting. And it works out to be £11.69 per element. So that's like a die set. That's like a stamp set. That's like the papers that you're getting in there. Everything that you see is stunningly beautiful and will work for all occasions. New homes, New weddings. Home, I say. New home, weddings. It is um, birthdays, things like that. Yeah. Just thinking of you, I mean, come on. And not you just know, notelets. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you all the way. I think sometimes we tend to think of giving a card for an occasion, but I think the last 12 months has shown everybody just to make a card because I'm thinking of you. No, that's true. It is very... Yeah. You, can, you can, and the, it sounds quite corny, doesn't it, but make every day an occasion. Who knows? I, I don't want to get all deep on you. I'm not, I'm not like that, but who knows how long? We've all got here. But to send a card, we don't send enough cards anymore. That's my big thing. We don't send cards and we don't send letters. My nan used to send loads of letters. She used to love receiving a letter. Now what do we do? We drop a text yeah. with a smiley emoji yeah. and a thumbs up. What is up. an address book these days? We, we had <laughs> this conversation why, yesterday. Why would, what's an address book? What do I need an address book, Mum, for? Yeah, it's like, it, yeah. no one sends them. We were talking about Rolodexes yesterday, how <laughs> far back we were going. Uh, but no one keeps an address anymore. It's all on an email. It's all on a Facebook poke. Don't do that. 
Go back old school. Send a letter, send a card saying I'm just thinking of you. I hope you're well. This is what you're going to be getting. Well, I've not even I've not even spoke about the bag. Oh, you, you oh, even yeah, get a bag. Oh yeah, don't forget the bag. Thrown in as well. <laughs> Can't go wrong because the bag is good. Once again, I know we joke about it, but the bag is good. If you've not got a craft room. If you're working on the dining table, if you're working on the bar, uh, it's up to you where you work, but you can keep everything together. You really, really can. <coughs> Excuse me, £42.87, and pence. I do apologise. Uh, something else that's very busy as well on the show, the storage binder. You're popping it into your three flexible payments. That would work out to be £4.33 today. Four thirty-three today to keep everything secure. 374-418 is your item number. Um, I love this. Red liner tape, seven day save. If you're going to go construction and you want to start building a scene, this is the way to do it because you can make like little wobblers, bend a bit of card and stick it down with your red liner tape. You know it's going to be stuck strong. You know it's going to be stuck fast. You're getting 20 rolls, 12 rolls, sorry. Uh, 60 meters, you're getting your three, your six, your nine, and your 12. 10 pounds and 99 pence and it's 366 in your three flexible baskets. Uh, it's worth going for. Something else that would look nice, Craft card. You stamp it in black and white mm. onto craft card. Build your scene with your mats and layers. I'm really into this at the moment. I just got a stamp press for Christmas. I'm well excited. I've only got two stamps. But I absolutely adore it. Just building a scene and matting things and putting things behind each other. And craft card is the way to go. £14.99 for that. And you can split it into three flexes. Right then, Nick, what are we up to? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we're going to go a little bit autumn-y with this one. I've already stamped and die-cut and started to colour the cottage. As you can see, you can go with any colour, and that's what I love about it when you have your stamps and dies that coordinate. As I say, you always stamp your image first, but you have got your outer die that will cut out the actual cottage. But then you have a further... More, le more, more further, um, I'm trying to think of the word there, you've got more um, dies <laughs> that will cut out all of your windows and your chimney. As you can see, that's how they oh, fit on. Oh, that's that there. one. That one will cut out those windows. So you can decoupage it up. Or if you go with this like this, what you could do is you could cut them out, use the windows on another card, add add some foam tape and then lift that up That's nice. and you've got i don't know is it called a, a, a decoupage is when you lift it up i'm not sure what it is when you put the holes in apertures, apertures. Just, you've got apertures yeah you've got your window apertures you've got more depth though there, in you? there and a lot more depth definitely a lot more depth there so all i'm going to do now is just show you how quick you can color it in i've gone with green on this one i thought green and yellow I love this. I'm not sure. If you had a cottage, Adam, what colour cottage would you have? I'd go quite quaint. I'd go quite sort of your, your greys and your thatch roof and your... Yeah, lovely. I'd like a pink cottage. Ah. I've always All wanted pink. a pink house. <laughs> I'm not ever obviously going to have one, but... Oh, then nice. I'm going in with my window. And the nice thing about doing the windows is that you can use your glossy accents on them. Are these watercolour pens you're using? These to are just watercolour pens. And then what I'm going to do is add a darker, I just forgot the outer edge of that one there. I'm going to go with the same colour mat. And then I'm going to go in with a darker yellow, which is more like an orange. And then we'll blend that in in a second. So just going around the edge, bringing that in to give it the look like there's a light on in the house. I love this. Have you ever heard of Thomas Tink Kincaid? Yes, I love Thomas Kincaid oh, pictures. The, these, uh, when here. I first started, he here. is. Yes, I, saw, I met his brother a few months ago. Well, going back maybe quite a few months ago now before all this happened. But yes. Um, but yeah, it was all about light, wasn't it? Yeah, or you always leave the light on in the photos. So it looks like somebody in. 
There's always stuff hiding in his images. I'm saying that, that well, I, I totally forgot about Kincaid. Uh, this is very Kincaid-esque with the cottages through, going is. through the seasons. Definitely. And all you need is like a little babbling brook that's running past the little cottages that you've got there. You're good to go with these. And then I'm going to go in with my daubers. So I have used pens, but what I love about the daubers is that you can go in and you can soften the colour. So I'm going in with like a medium brown and then I'm softening it but blending it as well. So I've got the detail in there with my pens, but then I'm just adding my shading in with my daubers. We've got daubers on the show as well. You're getting 12 stack and store precision daubers for £13.99. Split the cost of those onto three flexible payments as well. 069154 is your item number. And then I just want to colour in the step. Say so the details all there for you. Do not be afraid of stamping because if you've got a good detailed stamp, you're halfway there. So all you need to do is add your colour. And what I love about the cottages is you can give it a really nice rustic feel anyway. So if you're not brilliant at colouring, you can add your colour um, with your daubers and your pens and your way to go. But I love that. So we've then got all the elements. Now, with the collection, you've got 31... Is it 31 dies 26 Six stamps. stamps you've got everything you've got your sunflowers you've got your leaves you've got your berries so the berries are actually from the winter collection oh. winter stamp but I thought well okay well berries don't have to be red I'm sure I've had yellow berries in my garden before so I've got my leaves I've got my blossom that I've done in a pale blue with that yellow but I just want one more. So can you see the colour scheme that I've gone yeah. for? I've kind of blended it all in. So then I'm just going to add the colour to my sunflower. So what I've done is I go in with my yellow first. It's very, very easy. Again, just adding that colour. You can use your daubers if you want to. I've kind of stuck with my pens and this one is running out so <laughs> it will get this. me through the show I'm sure so there's my yellow any and particular card stock you're there. using Nikki? sorry any particular card yes stock? in actual fact this is the pink frog card stock there is it the super smooth yeah, super you smooth. had it on special offer the other week and I brought lots of it because it blends well and I can use it for my die cutting, I can use it for my colouring. I just love the way it blends. So add in my orange. If you want to get the same paper, okay. we've got it on the website. It is all there for you to use. 120 sheets. It's a mix of A4 and A3 is what we're looking at uh, for your pink front card. £21 and 98 pence, 120 sheets in total of your A4 and your A3, 300 GSM. In your flexible payments, £7 and 33 pence if you're popping it into your basket uh, with your one-day special. Or if you're not going for the one-day special, you've got flex extravaganza, so it'll split the cost into two for you. Uh, two payments of £10 and 99 pence. Uh, 35 star, star, five star reviews, well worth having a I'm look at this. I'm not surprised, honestly, it, it's my go-to card stock. I make my card blanks with it because it's a good price and it's cheap enough and it's a nice weight. And as I say, look at the way that blends, not even added water. So what I've done is sort of like added a pinky red and that just adds that colour. And then just going to go in with no not I'm not going to do that I'm going to go in with a brown remember if you're going for them individually as well you can put them onto flex travaganza so you can split the cost uh, so you're going just going for the stamps on their own it'd be two payments of seven pounds is what you're looking at for the stamps on their own uh, so you go seven pounds this month seven pounds in a month's time as well if you want to pick your favorite set of stamps but that biggest saving of 40 pounds is in that large collection because then you also get the paper pad as well uh, saving even more if you're a freedom member don't let 142 pounds put you off we've put it onto three flexible payments for you for 42 pounds pounds and 87 pence if you're a freedom member that is delivered price to your door then going in with my dauber 
adding a quite a bright green but then I'm going to go in again with my darker green which is mowed lawn and just blend that up how quick is that shading I like this this is amazing and now when I put all my elements together that's what I've got and that's what I'm going to use to create my card so we need a card <laughs> okay so I'll pop them at the top there I've already go ahead, gone ahead and basically put my card together and what it is is it's I'm not sure the size of it but I've used one of the gateway decorative dies that we had on the show we launched these on Black Friday and that is the outer edge and that was the bit oh, okay. that I Makes cut sense. out so I just need to glue this bit in using that gorgeous decorative paper and to be fair if I was at home I'd have put this in first but I wanted to do show you how I did it and just pull that down there like that you could go quite fairy tale esque with this you could it is definitely a fairy tale collection but when you look at the paper pad the hard work's been done for us. I always say this with heartfelt. You know, they give us the paper pad that's the core of the collection, and it's then, depending on where you are in crafting, maybe you're a crafter, oh, let me just pull that down a bit. Maybe you're a crafter that, you know, has stepped away from stamping because you, you, you know, you, you're more of a um, paper pad crafter, but with this, with heartfelt, you've got everything there you are. so that to be honest you could pop a sentiment on there you could leave it like that and you've got a beautiful card because you've got your scene there but this is where I would say most crafters would say no we're gonna add more so I'm going to add my cottage so just add a few strips of foam tape just put that in the middle a bit more so this is where you're going to build your decoupage up so that's lifted that now off of my page so already I'm thinking now I feel like I've actually done something I've done some crafting I've colored and I've created my card and then I'm just going to look now you can add dimension to these leaves using your flower shaping tool I'm just going to lay it down first. I always say to new crafters, never glue until you're ready. Because what you'll end up doing is pulling it off because you're always going to want to move a few bits around. So I'm going to do that. And then I've got my blue here. I've got a few leaves that will go here. And I even might add a tree. So I've actually got one here. I've got two. Which one shall we go for? Uh, I've got this one from the paper pad and this one that I've coloured. I like yours. I actually quite like that because it's adding that, it's bringing a bit more depth in there. So what I'll do is I'll pop that towards the back. And it, I suppose if worse comes to the worst, Nikki, and you, you get the whole collection home and you think, oh, I, don't know, I don't know what to do, you can use the paper pad as just as inspiration just inspiration as a guide if you're not sure on the coloring look at the coloring and the packaging that will give you an idea on where to start but your paper pad is I like I said is the core to your collection because it really does on the elements that you can cut out that you have the dies for I was just flicking through it now uh, you get two whole sheets um, but you remember you get two of each sheet so you've got the cottages on there. So in Leary, you could copy the cottages. So you've got the cottage yes. in the snow. Mm -hmm. uh, then you've got all the summer that's in there. And you've got all the sh uh, topiary as well. Uh, then you've got all the trees that you've got here and the birds. So you could just literally follow the shading that you've got on your inspiration pack. And you get inspiration in the bag yes. as well. Uh, so you, mm. get, you get more than... You get everything. You've this is everything. really is a cracking little collection. It is. So I've just looked at that and I'm thinking, right, hang on a minute. This is why I always say don't glue down. 
I want to add a little bit more autumn to those leaves okay. because now that I've added that tree, I feel that I want to just add a little bit more depth to my tree. So I'm going in with a brown, just adding a little bit of brown to the tips, just blending in. And it looks like we're just going into autumn with this card. So we're kind of mid-season, really, coming towards the end of summer, early autumn. Not too much. I don't want to make them too dark. Using my daubers again, just blending that colour in. just gives that look of those leaves changing seasons. Not sure what the leaves are. Are they maple? They are look they, like maple leaves. They look a little bit more like maple, but to be honest, they could be anything you like. You can colour them however you like. You can cut them up. You can make them into, um, oh, what's the ivy? It could yes. be ivy. There we go. So now I'm happy. Right, so now I am ready to put it together. But before we put it together, I'm going to take my flower shaping tool. So I've got my mat and my shaping tool. And I'm just going to add some dimension. Makes all the difference to my cards. I don't think I do any cards without adding some kind of dimension. So just using that tool... How quick and easy is that look? So your flower shaping tool isn't just for making three-dimensional flowers. Just blending that in. And we do have these on the show today, we have, don't we? I'm currently uh, at taking them out of the box so you can actually see uh, the tips. Uh, I'll do the rest in a minute just so you can see though. £29.99, uh, uh, you get the pen with the interchangeable tips that are in there as well. Uh, you also get the bit of foam at the top, so this is what you do all your flower shaping on. Uh, you've got one tool in here, you, you don't need, uh, what's that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You don't need ten tools anymore. This tool will do everything, it's all in the insecurity, you know, there's all your tips uh, that are there as well. So you can see all the tips that you're getting. There are more uh, that I will pull out uh, for you. And so you've got all your little ball tools in there, so everything that you need uh, is beautifully packaged, so you're never going to lose it. Split the cost into three or split the cost into two, it's entirely up to you as well. Uh, embossed, you can peer, you've got a quilling tool in there as well, you can't go wrong for £29.99, £9 is your item number. Then on your flexible payments, on your three if you're going for the big um, one day special that you've got here, uh, it's £9.99. $9.99 today, worth having a little look at this. Well, having a little look. You get your mat, everything. Right, let's go back. Yeah, and as I say, it's something that I have out on my desk all of the time because there's always something that I want to add shape to. It could be a car wheel. It could be, as I say, leaves. I could be making flowers. But it just makes all the difference. So if I just bring those elements over now that I've done that, now look at the difference. They're actually now all nicely shaped, haven't taken too, hasn't taken too long, but when I start adding them to my card now, I've got a lot more dimension. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my leaves, so I'm going to put ooh, two, oops, pick the berries up as well two just here so because I've used my phone tape and I haven't stuck my cottage all the way down I can pop them just behind and then I've got my blossoms now with the blossoms I'm just going to trim a little bit off so I love using my glue gun because it kind of acts as a bit of a three-dimensional glue as well I suppose it gives you that little um, got my hand stuck. Gives you that little bit of raise. It does. So again, I'm lifting them up slightly. I've got some of my berries that we're going to bring in here. I'm having struggling with my glue gun. It's the lead's got over the other side of the desk, so it's pulling pattern, a little bit. Lead. With this one, yeah, I'm trying to hold it so it doesn't fall on. Oh, it's fell on the floor. 
There we go. Sorry. That's, so we'll add a, a few more here. Let's lift that up and then add in some more. Can you see how I'm building that up? It is amazing. Remember, if you want to go for the stamp set on its own, if you just want the cottage on its own, you can do that. It's be £13.99. Or your two flexible payments on Straight Travaganza as well uh, is what you can do. Uh, we just need more cable, Matt, is what we actually need. I, we, it's working. We just need to move the grey box out of the way. Yeah, the cable's pulling the glue gun. So every time so I let go of the glue gun, it's falling cable. on the floor and it's got to get... <laughs> Leave it on the there floor. There we go. A longer extension lead is what we need, but I can't go around and help. I'm not allowed. Just You're on your own, Nick. You're on your own. own, am I? You're on your <laughs> own, unfortunately. <laughs> there we go. Just bringing that down. And then I'm going to go across this side. <laughs> Don't we just love live TV? It's always the way. And just popping that one there, and then I'm going to go in with my sunflowers on this side just building them up just cut the stem on this one again I'm adding quite a lot of glue that's going to give me my dimension and then trim this one to bring that down just lifting the corner of my cottage and I've got a few more berries here so I'm going to come down here a little bit with them see how I'm just building that up now I'm going to come down a little bit more and it's just really knowing when to stop and I can be a I suppose that's the thing you can't just get bigger and bigger I you just, start it off does, the yeah. small. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just bringing that out to the side there, so those flowers just come. Started off as an A3 card. We're now talking a massive <laughs> flip chart size. Just bringing that up. I'm going to leave the tree bare. I think I'm quite happy with that. I think I think I'm done. I'm going to stop, but I have got a sentiment from another collection. Congratulations, and I'm thinking congratulations. On your new home. <laughs> that is stunning. Uh, autumnal card, but if you change the colours, that could be any season that you want it to be. Remember, all of these 31 dies and 26 stamps and a paper pad for £43.63 if you're not a Freedom member. If you're a Freedom member, though, I can make that price even better for you. £42.87 is if you're a Freedom member today. It's worth having a little look at this. We said, as I said before, you're getting 31 dies, 26 stamps, and you're also getting a paper pad as well is what you're getting. Right, let's go through the papers uh, to see what you're getting in here. So first of all, you get your two... So I like to use these as inspiration sheets. They're not because they work with your dies uh, that you're getting in there. So these are your die sheets that you can cut out yourself. So you can use them as inspiration. Uh, you can also use them uh, for whatever you want to, but they are double-sided if you wanted to do that. Now, remember, you're getting two sheets of each. Uh, there's your other one that's in there as well, and there's the back. I like the bottom of that. That's nice. Uh, then you've got all your toppers in there, so your ready-made toppers, all ready to go. Remember, taking us through the season, you've got your summer, your winter, uh, your sort of autumnal colours uh, that you've got in there. Then you've got your ready-made toppers. I reckon if you just framed these, they would be beautiful. Little six by sixes, um, frame them throughout the season, change them out. Oh, you know one of them spinning photo frames that you can get? I think that would look nice with like family photos on. Uh, remember, each one is double sided, so you get more on the back as well. Remember, you're getting two sheets of it, so you haven't got to keep one uh, for best. Then you get your tags and your toppers. They're all going to match with the cards that you're going to be using uh, that's already in there. Uh, then you've got your fall as well. So you sort of got your pumpkins, and then on the back, I love that imagery. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Is that beautiful sky? Even if you just used the skyline and did your own. Uh, from there, we're talking about the birds that we've got on the show. So we've got your little twitty birds. Uh, you've got your more of your toppers that's on there. Uh, more of your landscapes. So we're sort of more of sort of the lake. That is very Thomas Kincaid. That is absolutely Kincaid through and through. Uh, then once again, I should have really sorted out this paper. Uh, you've got your oh look at that for your seasons. So you go from your winter to your uh, to your summer. 
uh, that you've got in there. Swinter. It's a new season. Uh, it's between autumn and winter. Uh, then you've got your other die cut elements in there as well. We love them all. That is your paper pad. From your paper pad, though, we move to your dies and your stamps. Your dies and your stamps correspond, so you get the dies and you also get the stamps as well. So you're getting countryside cottage that's in there that gives you the dies for the cottage, that gives you the for the windows, the chimneys that you got in there, the little foliage that you've got in there as well. Uh, then you've got your um, your summer your summer escape cottage summer escape. So that is things like your letterbox, uh, your postbox, your plants that you've got in there. Then you've got your autumn skate in there. You see where we're going with this? So it's more autumnal for your sunflowers, your maple leaves, your pineapple. Winter is up next. So your winter skates. So you've got your um, snowman. You've got your presents. You've got your are they clouds? Um, is it snowdrifts? Snow, snow... Like piles? Yes. <laughs> snow piles, we'll call them. Um, from the reindeers. Uh, you've got your little snow piles in there, and then you've got your treescape as well that you can use everything that you want. Then you also get all of your um, inspiration sheet uh, that's in there as well. I thought that was in the bag, I'm not going to lie. I genuinely thought it was in there. It wasn't. It was just propped up against the bag, is what we're looking at. Uh, so we are looking at all this. For Christmas cards, for example, Look at this. Look at this for a beautiful Christmas card uh, that you've already got there. Then you can do little cards if you wanted to as well. Uh, you've got cards that look a little bit like these. Uh, we've seen that one, but maybe if I bring up the... Oh, look at that. Look at that for a card. These also scream shaker cards to me. With the little cottage scene in the back, you want it to snow on your cottage, you can have a little rain in there as well, like a little, obviously not real water, but uh, you could, oh, does this move? Oh no, I thought it was like a, one of them ones. Uh, that's, oh, that's cute. That is absolutely cute. Oh, the little sun on a penny slider. What, is that the one that rolls down? Oh, that would be nice. So you could, it's starting and then it'll just set under, behind the clouds, behind a, behind a hill. I never thought of that. You can have that one, it's yours. Can I have that you one? You can have it, oh, it's free of charge. Uh, I won't send the invoice. Uh, £42.87 pence is what you're looking at. To be honest, Nick, it wasn't really my idea. Uh, <laughs> it was my director's. He's pulled himself back slightly. Uh, so it's £42.87 pence. He's had a dreadful morning. Uh, we've had flower shaping. That's, that's what you're getting. That's the big kit. We've also got a flower shaper on the, um, on the show as well which is well worth having a little look up. Remember, you get your mats in there, you're getting all your ball tools uh, that you need as well. Uh, so you're getting your, uh, your piercing tool, your 1mm, 2mm, 3mm, 4mm, 5mm, 6mm, 8mm, 12mm, and you also get your curler in there as well. And you get your double end uh, for £29.99. pence. Three flexible payments if you put it in your one day special of £9.99. pence, Or split the cost into two. Then you've got your storage caddy. Oh, just having a little rest. Uh, little storage caddy, here it is, uh, that we've got just here. This is cute because £12.99 is going to get you a box to keep this collection in. And Hartford, we have these every time we have the new collections in from Hartford once a month. Uh, but these really do keep everything together and you can label it so you know this is your country cottage theme set. Yes, and it holds seven stamp sets, seven die sets if you want to put your dies in there as well. We have got these separate storage um, panels on the oh, show as yes. well that work well with it. I, I like them as well, though. But it's the silly thing. Do you know how smart they look? In your I, bet, I bet they look nice. Oh, on the... look, they look amazing. We did some shows a few months back and we asked for photographs of people's craft rooms. Look at that. And they, every one of them, had these storage folders on. That is, that is on nice, isn't it? Just, you imagine having a whole row yes. of them. And the thing is, as well, like you said, not everyone is lucky enough to have a craft room. No, I don't have one. Maybe you use the dining room table, but you have a shelving area at the back. That will hold all of your stamps in and look smart as well. And it doesn't look like a craft room. It's like, no. it, that could be a photo album could, if you wanted yes. it to be. It could, it's just have, mm -hmm. if, no, if you're not a crafter, you see, if you're not a crafter, you're like, well, what's heartfelt? That could mean anything. That could be like loving photos that's in there if people are wandering around. You go, oh yeah, but no, that is your craft room. Craft room in a box. twelve ninety nine. well worth popping in to your things as well. Uh, and you can get three payments of that if you pop it into your one day special or if you're going for it on its own, you can go for two flexible payments because we're in flex extravaganza. I know a lot to take in, but you understand. Right then, Nikki, what are we up to? I just go back to what you just said about the storage binder. Craft room in a box. It, I love it. It, it is. But it is. Because in our house, our, well, we only live in a little small house, so we haven't got a craft room. We've got two bedrooms and that's about it. That's all we've got. Um, so it is a case of, if you're going to have a craft room, 
keep, keep, it, keep it, it needs to go away. in storage and keep everything looking nice, neat and tidy. And then you know where you're going to go. Craft room in a box. Get your stamp. Craft room in a box. There you go. Right, so we're going to go a little bit wintry with this one. Oh, nice. I know Christmas has literally just gone. It's never over. But never over in my head. Um, I've still got the Christmas decorations up. Have you? All the lights are still on. I'm, there's about four neighbours, actually, that have still got their lights on outside. And every night I say to Paul, if they've got theirs on, I'm going home and putting mine back on. Well, isn't it now to the 12th of February you can keep your decorations up? Because the Queen's keeping hers up to the 12th because of, because of lockdown again. Oh, is she? And there's, oh, I, I think it's there's something about a candle. It was on Vanessa Phelps this morning. I can't quite remember. Um, oh, I can't. Someone will tell me. You're, not just, you're not just making this no, up no, and then I keep my dec the decorations up. up the 12th. It's it's something, the, the I want to say the 12th of February. It's something to do with a candle. Candle celebrate. Email in if you know, studiochannel.com. You know what I'm talking about. It was on the... No, it is true. The Queen's keeping really? hers up. Really? Yeah, well, in Windsor. if the Queen can keep hers up, Nikki you can keep hers up. You are the Queen of Crafts. And I will continue making Christmas cards. So, with this one, I've got my um, presents. I've got my snowman. And I'm going in with my pen. Just adding that dark green. As you can see, you can see where the bow is. So I'm just going over and I'm going all around the edges as well just to kind of crisp the edges up on my present and then I'm going to go in with I think a bright green on this one using the daubers again I can find my green one I did have a green one because I used it earlier didn't I you did um, so this is what happens I bring all my daubers in and lose the, just the one that I want. But hey, I've got one with some dark green on, so that's fine. And just add. It's the second of Feb she's keeping them up till. Candle mass. Second of February. Oh, Paul will be happy. He won't have to go outside and take them <laughs> down now. Yeah, it's the second of Feb. Candle mass. I knew it was it's the second of the twelfth. So there's my present. Got a few more there, and then I've got my snowman. So with the snowman, I've already coloured him or her in. So I've used those same colours in the red and the green. That's nice. Added some glitter there as well, and I'm not sure what we're going to call these snow. What we're going to call them? Are they it's like little snow, snow piles? It's like a little snow pile. You know when the plough goes through and you, or you well, plough and you sort yeah. of push it all off your drive onto neighbours. Oh, I'm happy plow. to go my two bed apartment sorry, go <laughs> with snow piles. So I've added anything. a bit That's of grey, and then I'm just going to take. Oh, there's my glue. So I'm going to put a dob of glue on my mat, and I've got a paintbrush. And I'm just going to dob some glue. Oh, I'm intrigued what we're doing oh, now. I thought we were gluing them down. Not yet. Not ready Ready for that yet. Hang on. Stick it to my fingers now. <laughs> just add some glue randomly. And then I'm going to put in my drawer. One of my drawers. I reckon you could use these as clouds. Add glitter. Clouds, yes, I think you could, to be honest. Definitely. Are we sure they're not? So I'm just going to pop them in my glue and then glitter those up. Feels weird actually making Christmas cards because I did these well before Christmas, so it was nice. All the um, Christmas music and. And you still can. You still, can, I still can that. You could still listen to little Buble. Add a little bit of glitter on there, look. With your lights on, sitting around the tree making your cards. You've still got a long time in this. I've got some of those berries that we used on that last card, which I did in yellow, but this time I've done them in red. Put lots of glitter on them. So I've got six of those. So I've got my snowman. I've got my presents. I've got my red cardinals, which are like the robin is to us in the UK. Yes. Okay. I'm going to put those 
um, snow drifts. <laughs> snow drifts. Are there snow drifts now? I don't know. I, don't I can't know remember what we said. Email in. You know what they know. What do you call a pile of snow? Uh, it's uh, not a joke. A uh, pile email of me snow, I'm guessing. Studio <laughs> at achanda.com. But. Onto my card. So I've taken some cardstock. I've made my card out of it, but I've pearled around the edge just to save a bit of time. Then I've used one of the six by six panels. But what I've done is, on each layer, look, I've just added some glitter. That's nice. Okay. So again, this is a card in its own right. It's pretty. You've got your scene there. You could add a sentiment, and you're good to go. But with Heartfelt, you can then start building it oh. up. So I'm going to keep the cottage in the background. Going to bring my snowman so he's like the forefront of the card. Using some foam pads. So I'm going to bring him just about there and then I've got my berries that I'm going to put around him say him it could be a her I don't know snow person snow person I like that one yeah we'll go with that so just bring that stops the emails then Nick if you're honest there. <laughs> don't want to cover up the image of the the cottage and then oops I've got <laughs> my presence that's stuck <laughs> to my finger oh it's gonna be one of those days I can see it put the presents <laughs> who has gone again <laughs> so just pop my presents down Right. Hold it there. Okay. As long as you can all see the card. Could do it with like a little notch in the Using counter. So we could hook a cable on. Some foam pads just to build that up. Yeah, at home I've got a chair next to where I sit, so I sort of like put it on the back of the... It hangs it over the back of the chair, but... I don't normally have this problem Take with it. Forward, it's just Matt. today. Hook. Would you like a chair? Would you like to be at home? <laughs> would you like a dining room table? <laughs> That'd be great. And like a coffee would be good as well. <laughs> so then we've got our snow piles. And then put them... I'm going to get you a hook for 12 o'clock. We're currently, Are you? We're currently get finding a hook. a hook at the moment <laughs> that we're going to screw into the back of the table. I would generally do it after this hour. I'll have one of them from over there. Just add those snow piles. Oh, these work. Look at that behind the little snowman. There you go. Just adds that little bit of dimension as well, doesn't it? Oops. No, it doesn't. Not when it's left on your finger. And then got a few more. It looks really expensive, presents. though, don't they? Look really expensive cards. Oops, I've dropped my presents. <laughs> I'm not having a good morning, am I? <laughs> oh. <laughs> They'll be saying, please tell me Nick is not back today. Oh, no. You're back at 12. I am. So I don't know if I'm... Have I, have I got one of these shows again? To, I don't know what I've got today. <laughs> Catherine's at 4 o'clock. Janice is at 12. Well, you got us oh, today. so you're, you're lucky today. You've only got me once. Oh, no, I like doing these shows. Bringing my berries in there. And then I've got my red cardinals. I think I'm going to sit them on the presents. Because, I, again, I don't want to hide the cottage. Okay. And I have got one more berry, and I'm not going to go and get the glue gun again because it has fallen again. So I'm going to pop that one. Where should we pop that one? We'll trim that off, and that one can go in there. Look, 
again I'm lifting them up because I do think it just adds a little dimension to your card and I'm gonna stop and then you could it could be a birthday card it could be a Christmas card but That's there nice. is your winter winter countryside cottage that is beautiful and once again you could change the scene quite easily. So instead of it being a snowman, you could change that to be a tree. One of the trees that are in the collection uh, as well that we've already got here. Uh, right then, let me show you uh, some of the paper pads that we're actually getting. So you can create these cards uh, really, really easily that you've got there. Uh, you're getting $17.99 for the papers on their own. If you want to go for the papers, they are 12 by 12 is what you're getting as well. Uh, they're acid and ligament free as well to doing your scrapbooking, which is amazing. You're getting two sheets per design. So all of these. I'm showing you at the moment. There's 24 double-sided sheets, uh, but you get two of all the designs uh, that I'm showing you. So you get two of those ones. You get your toppers, you get your cards, you get your background papers, uh, you get your pattern papers, all the tags that you need in there, the embellishments that are in there, your whole scenes that are in there as well uh, that you've already got. And it does give you all the inspiration uh, that you are going to need to how to do the seasons, how to do your shading, how to do your colouring in. It's all there for you, uh, which are absolutely beautiful. Uh, then you've got the dies and the stamps on the show as well. Um, it's easy if I just show you what you can actually do with them. Uh, for the sheer fact, you can see how they're die cut out and how beautiful is that. So you've got the cottage stamp and die set, so that is uh, cutting it all out. That has been cut out. And then the windows and doors have been cut out as well, because you can also cut out the windows and doors. Uh, you've got the wheel wheelbarrow from your awesome as well. Same as your plumage that you've got here. It looks like a tree. It's all individual flowers uh, that you've got there. Uh, that is from the treescape uh, that we're looking at. Uh, then you've got the aut uh, autumn as well for the sunflower. Uh, as moving on, you've got more trees in here. So this is the tree full of plumage. So you can really see how just taking a backing paper and adding the front, that's what the front looks like on its own, but it's when you add that backing paper, it really does come to life. How beautiful is that? That's absolutely stunning. Uh, from there, uh, you do cut a simple card like this. Maybe that's going to be the front. Maybe you're just going to do that and use it from the backing papers. But when you put them together, pow, that's what you're getting. How beautiful. Uh, once again, uh, congratulations cards. If you want to use congratulations cards, are absolutely beautiful. Uh, for new home cards, new start cards, uh, welcome to the world cards. You can't go wrong. Nikki, this is classed as a considered purchase. Um, yes. But obviously, but we've tried to make it as easy as we can with three flexible payments of £42.87 and, and we give you that massive saving as well. If someone is still thinking, oh, I'd like to, but I don't know if I'd use all of the dies or I don't know if it's, it's for me, what would you say to those people? I would say the collection works alongside all the other collections that you've probably got at home. You've got all the stamps, all the dies for every season whether it's a birthday, whether it's an anniversary, whether it's a new home, whether it's a thank you, whether it's just for I'm thinking of you. Mm. It's a beautiful collection, really easy to use. You've got your autumn one there. I love the wheelbarrow there. But again, you could cut that away like I did in one of the shows yesterday and put some flowers in there. You've got your snowman in there. You've got everything. You really, really have. And if it is too much for your budget. Remember, you can go things individually as well if you want to go for things individually. So the paper pad is £17.99 and we can split that. And two payments, Flex Travaganza, £9 is what you're looking on your Flex Travaganza price. Uh, the dies you can go in for individually. You can go for the stamps individually. Maybe you're just literally a stamper and you just like to fussy cut. You can also do that as well using things like your vintage photos and your inks and your colours and your stains. You can't go wrong. Over 40% of the car of the stock now of the big bundle has already gone. And all this will expire at 6 p.m. this evening. We've only got 45 seconds left. Thank you, Nikki. It's Thank you. It's been a great show. It has. I've just <laughs> I'm seen looking forward to my hook. Someone has just brought it to me. Uh, I have it over there. It's in the glint of my eye. Uh, you are with Janice at 12 o'clock. OK, well, I'll be back at 12 then. With your hook. With my hook. <laughs> Can't wait. Uh, it will be a show and a half. With more inspiration, remember, every show is different. Yes, we've still got the same shots here, but every demonstration we're different. give you more inspiration uh, to go and look at as well.
out. Remember, start checking out your baskets. People watch the show and they check out after, so who knows what will be here at 12 o'clock or even 4 o'clock for final call. Don't you go anywhere. There is so much more to shop for here at Hachanda. Check out the website. Uh, you can also check everything out on Rewind as well. I'll see you in an hour. Yes, indeed, the next three hours look a little bit li li like this. I will see you for Let Leone Loose. You've got Janice for the next two hours for Leo of London, and then Paper Rose with our Karen Keats. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. We are the Stamping Sisters from Stamp Addicts. We'd started our family-run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in-house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hojanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter here at Hachanda. I got into crafting years ago, ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people and that's just the beauty of this, there's always something new to learn, there's always something that you want to get into, it's fabulous. My Let Leone Lou show on Achanda is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. I get to work with loads of really cool brands, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Lou shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and Percomano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So 
So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. Good morning to you. I hope you're well this morning. It was snowing where I was when I woke up. Um, might be snowing where you are, but stay in, stay warm, stay cosy, and let's get crafting. And let's take a look at all the fabulous fabrics that we've got on the show today. We have got Leo of London Fabrics, and we've got Lewis with us. Hello, Hello. Lewis. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Now, for some people that may not have seen you before, I think yep. you were on a couple of... Uh, when were you last on? on oh, in December. In December. Just so a couple Christmas, of weeks ago. Yeah. But we've always got new viewers, so yeah. let's have a little intro to yourself. Tell okay. us a, because it's a really nice journey that you've made throughout your crafting. Course. Yeah, so I actually started off here as a chan at Hachanda as a floor uh, manager, where I got um, headhunted to be a fabric designer up north, um, where I learned my skills of fabric designing and love. Um, and from there, I came back home, had a bit of a rest with family, and decided to... Um, Start Leo of London, basically. I think, I, I think it's fabulous <laughs> to be able to do something that you love as a career as well. I mean, how fabulous is that? Yeah. And when it comes to craft, I mean, it's a win-win situation. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And it's kind of like, it's not a job anymore. It's, <laughs> it's kind of like fun every day. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, last night I was making a dress for the set and I was like, oh, well, this is... It's, it doesn't feel like work anymore, which is lovely, which is yeah. great. Yeah, I think that is absolutely fantastic. And I love your fabrics as well. Okay. We're going to take you through all the different options, but I do need to tell everybody about something that is back in stock. It's already selling. Uh, 612821 is your item number. 10 metres of vintage ribbon, and it's linen as well. Six centimetres in width. This is absolutely fantastic. I do love the colours and the tone that you've got in mm, here. It's kind of like that real kind of classic as well. Yes. Um, and I bought it before Christmas and a lot of people thought it had like Christmas writing on it. Actually doesn't. It's kind of like an all year round piece. Um, again, I'm going to show you one of my demos. That you could, it's not just ribbon for like gift wrap and things yes. like that. You can use it as kind of like a cheat as a fat quarter. Yes. yes. Um, and go in with your patchwork in as well. So you can make objects and objects bags yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, be more I guess specific. bags are objects <laughs> they you're are, absolutely I guess they are. right um <laughs> with the linen as well uh, lots of our crafters as you know would like to paint on here maybe absolutely. and and maybe put some power text and things like that yeah then you can do but it's selling rather fast so if you do want to get hold of it uh you can divide the cost into two months uh interest-free payments because we are in the flex extravaganza event and that means you can split anything into two free monthly payments very busy for that so I'll pop that back down there and let oh, already 10% gone already 10% oh, wow. gone of the ribbon uh, right Lewis let's take everybody through the fabric options Absolutely. we've got available these are half meters and they come with the pattern fabric and the grey fabric as well and you get half a metre of each. Yeah, I wanted to kind of, um, as you see with the samples, I wanted to kind of use, so you, you kind of got more fabric for your wear, if that makes yes, sense. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, yeah. me. Um, <laughs> so like, you can use it with your English paper piece and you can yes. push it further with your quilting and it kind of breaks it down and, get, and you can get the money's worth out of the pattern then. Yes, I love the patterns. Thank you. Uh, and these are all designed by yourself. They are, yeah. So this one's called Williams after my dad. So it's oh. a designed around my dad um, who's helped me a lot um, get kickstarted in this business. Yes. Oh, that is lovely. Um, so there's like birds and things like that within the patterns. Oh my goodness, um, yeah, let's get If you zoom in closer, it's very get, like... Can we get close up to that pattern? Because when I first <laughs> saw this, I was thinking, oh, they're nice flourishes, yeah, they're yeah. nice uh, swirls. But I've only just noticed the birds <laughs> in there. They there's are... There's different birds and flowers, wow. things like that. It's very kind of renaissance kind of... Uh, very... It's like Bernie the Bolt, isn't it? There you go. <laughs> uh, there's one of the birds there that you can see. You've got the flowers there. Absolutely stunning piece of fabric. Thank you. But I, I, I wanna, I'm dying to do is to go in with some gold leaf. 
and just to pick out different elements of the birds and the different flourishes and stuff. I'm really dying to do it. That would be lovely. To. But I guess what you can do is add some stitching to that and some oh, embroidery. Oh, yeah, embroidery. Um, and if, if you've got metallic thread or you've got little beads for mm -hmm. the bird's eyes and things like that oh, just yeah. to pick them out, um, I think that, that takes it to a whole new dimension. Absolutely. And I know I said I was going to bring colour um, to this show, and I do apologise in advance. Unfortunately, with Christmas and the new lockdown, mm a lot of the, my supplies have shut down because yes. they're non-essential. Um, so I will be bringing colour in, but with stuff like this, again, I've left a sample there for you to show. It was one of our Christmas ones. Um, this one here? Yeah. And it's just that you can go in with uh, your fabric pens and you can go in and add them colours. So say, like, when we had Santa, you could go in and have a pink Santa suit yes. and things like yeah. that. And it kind of gives you the time to get in and be crafty yourself as well, not just so. Do you know what I love about this, just taking a look at this? Using your pens to highlight and colour, it's like, you know, the black and white movies and the black and white photographs that yeah. the BBC have, um, they've had some, a few programmes out recently where they've hand-painted yeah. the actual negatives, yeah. and it, you get that really cool vintage vibe yeah. from that. Yeah. Um, so I think that looks fantastic. And if you want to dye the whole fabric, maybe I've got like a, a sepia dye, or maybe I'm Tea using dye natural and, yeah. dyes, we yeah. can do that as well. Absolutely, yeah. Because it's, it's kind of like, I say, the Rolls Royce of, of cottons yes. is the English um, quilting cotton. Um, other, other cars are available, obviously. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's that really good quality. I wanted to make sure that um, when you're crafting, that we spent hours, especially with soft craft, we spent hours doing our projects. And I wanted to make sure that like, these projects were last. These projects that you can come out year after year after year, say for Christmas. That was meant to be a bauble box. Well, um, it, could, it could be a It's anything. very squashed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's why there's a little bit of glitter in there. Um, but again, you can use it as like a stationary box, things like that. But it can come out year after year, and you know that it's just going to have that quality, so it's going to be there and it's going to be yeah. substantial. And you can use this for dressmaking, clothes absolutely. making, yeah, um, your cushions, upholstery and all kinds of things. £19.99. It's your half metre of cotton fabric. That's your first design. That's your Williams. Then the next one, those plants have eyes. Where's your inspiration <laughs> come from for so these actually designs? came from, those wings have eyes came first, which is the one next to it. Yes. Um, so it was to do with butterflies and how like the eyes on the on the butterfly that they have oh, yeah, kind like of, the, the royal admiral yeah. the butterfly yeah and I it kind of stemmed from that and then i was like when i was putting the butterflies in the foliage and things like that i was like oh i really like the eyes near the leaves and i was like oh i'll just try it and see and then before i know it's um yeah, it kind Stunning, of it's it? a fabric. <laughs> and, and you've got the rosebuds in there as well. Yeah, so it's um, kind of like growing. Can I can I just take this out and just yeah, open it up? Absolutely. Is that all right? Absolutely. Um, because of the design of it, sometimes it's really nice to see more of the pattern because you get a really nice idea. I think this would look absolutely stunning on like an Ottoman box or something I like don't that. Know. Here, if I can. Oh, yes, you've got something at the back there uh, that Lewis can show you in a sample that's been made. Uh, it's, almost, it's, it's like a letter board, notice board. Yeah, it is, yeah. But again, this could, you can sh it shows that you can use this as reupholstery as well. So this is kind of reupholstery, like a chair uh, base. But it just and looks really striking. Can you show that on the overhead? We've got an overhead camera there. So Ooh. if you post that down, I know. We're getting, we're, I'm going to leave out of the way because I do now, move you know. overheads and I don't want to mess it up. Wow. <laughs> It is. It's stunning. It's a stunning piece of fabric, and however you use it on whatever project and however uh, much or whatever amount of fabric you use, it's going to give that impact. It is, absolutely. And uh, Paula said, actually, on the last show about going in with some gloss over the eyes um, and using it with your mixed media and things like that. So I think that would look really cool. I've yet to try that, so I will be trying that because I think that, that would be really would cool. That would be cool. Uh, okay, so the plants have eyes. Um, let me just take that and let's just fold that back up and I'll place that back where it came in a moment's time. Uh, but then we've got the wings have eyes. And this is also another stunning piece of fabric based on butterflies. Absolutely. So this one is smaller. So um, a lot of people were asking, I've got kind of a poll out, and they wanted like a smaller print as well to use with their English paper piecing um, with lots of detail in. So this, if, I mean, we are zoomed in now, but if you look from far away as well, you won't really kind of see all that detail. Can I open this up then? Yeah, go I've for got, it, go I've for got it. to do that. <laughs> um, the, the, the designs here, the prints are fabulous. Something different for you. There you go. Let's just open that out so you can see that true beauty. 
beautiful, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I, this is actually one of my favourites, I think, just because of the details in it and the depth. Um, I know you're not to have a favourite of any of your babies, but <laughs> <laughs> that one is. <laughs> it is. It's absolutely stunning. And what, what I like about this as well, Lewis, is that we have something different about it with the eyes, that yeah. interest, but also it's, it's the design of the butterfly. So at first glance, it's a butterfly, yeah. and then you have to look again and you see the eyes, and that's, that's what makes fabric different and interesting. Yeah, and again, it's something I wanted to do like a, a floral fabric, but I've seen so many, I know it sounds bad, but boring, repetitive yeah. fabrics that all kind of look the same. And I wanted to bring something different to the market that wasn't, that, like you said, something different with the eyes popping out. And it is kind of still traditional, but then you've got to look again and you're like, oh, oh, there's eyes on there. Like, yeah. And I think that's what I... That's why I think it's the funnest fabric I've got. I think it's fabulous. I can see why it's one of your favourites. Uh, there's your details on the screen. Remember, you can divide the cost of anything into two interest-free payments over two months because we are in the midst of our Flex Stravaganza event. But it's not just the pattern fabric. You're also getting the grey fabric as well. So you get half a metre of each. That's a really nice complement to yeah. one another. So excellent value for money. Let's move on now because we've got some more designs that are available in half metre and they're also available in the metre each. That's the grey and the pattern. The details for the metre is on your screen at the moment at the bottom of your screen for the half metre. So you choose, you decide. Uh, let's start with the first one. This is the Emporium. Another a fantastic design already <laughs> busy in half a meter for this oh, one amazing yeah. um, with emporium for me it was I, I love vintage and think vintage always have done um, and when I lived in Newcastle there used to be a vintage market and an, and an emporium warehouse and I was always in there and it always just fascinated me there were so many different random items in there and I thought oh, I need to put that on a fabric one day so Voila. I, I, I'm just <laughs> fascinated by all the different images that we've got in here, but also the quality of the print. I don't know if you can see this gentleman just here. It's like that really cool newspaper print. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's where you get that incredible vintage vibe from the fabric. And remember, this is top quality cotton as well to be used in all of your soft craft projects. Absolutely fantastic. So many interesting pieces. And something like this, if you wanted to cut out a section, you've got so much interest in that particular section that you could add lots of plain fabric to Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Go in, and as well with, I think it was Paula that said um, in the last show, about fussy cutting um, some of the elements out. Definitely. And using them in the card craft. And you can, again, with your power techs and making the fabric solid. So you can use it as a 3D item and things like that with your foam pads. Um, so fabric is not just for soft crafters. I really am adamant about that because yeah. I used to, it crossed over for me a lot as well. Um, again, like with the fussy cutting and doing ribbon borders and things like that on cards and stuff. It is. It does cross over. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. And again, we've got it in the uh, the black and white, the grey scale, as it were, and that gives you a chance to add colour if you want to. So you can get this in the meter, the the two meters. Uh, sorry. The, the two one meters that's for the fabric pattern and the gray the details on the side of your screen two paints of 20 pounds if you want to go for that one next up we've got the swarm so if you are a lover of insects um, then this is going to be the one for you with those beautiful flowers in there and is it is it bees the different types of bees yeah yes different Honey types bees of bees and, yeah. in there and people in, in in the craft world love bees they're very popular yeah. butterflies and bees yeah oh yeah I'm the same though. I can't, I'm always drawn to butterflies or bees or any of my designs, really. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe it's just a crafting thing. M may maybe <laughs> it is. Maybe it is. But it's, it's interesting. Again, you've got that vintage vibe to it as well. I've got a lovely sample here of a bolster cushion, uh, which is really nice. Something like this in your lounge or maybe, you know, on your bed just to rest your arm on, for example. But it's interesting fabric and it makes a really nice feature piece for your room. Uh, 144299 is your item number and that is your swarm. Love that one. Then we've got the elephant. Uh, lovely design. I'm going to open this one up if I can do. Um, this one's actually lovely designed design. for my sister um, really? who's obsessed with elephants. Um, and when you open up you'll see there's three little elephants following her which are my nephews Oscar, Finley and Harvey. Um, and there's Daddy Elephant in there, which is my sister's husband as well. Um, <laughs> but she's got this in different elements in her home now. Um, she's got notice boards and lampshades and things like that. Um, but I, for me, a lot of my fabrics have got kind of 
me in them or someone I've designed them for or yeah. things like that. So they're really, really personal to me. I love it. Now, something like this, if you've got your um, Graphic 45 papers, if you want fabric to go with a project, oh, wow. I think these would be absolutely... absolutely. In fact, all of them will be fantastic. Yeah. But this one... Uh, for some reason, I have that in mind. For uh, some reason, this one would work really, really well. So you've got your elephants in there. Uh, that's the other option there. So the elephants, uh, you've got your palm trees, your coconut trees, banana trees, I think. So we've got a little monkey there. We have, uh, yeah. I don't know whether we saw that. There <laughs> you go, uh, in the tree, being a little bit cheeky, grabbing some dinner. Love that. Absolutely fantastic. So you can choose this in the one metre or the half metre. Uh, those are your choices and remember you can divide the cost of anything into two now let me just pop that there you also get the gray fabric as well with all of these and then finally this comes with a green option it in does, the plain yeah. fabric and this is your winter wolf i'm going to open up the one meter to show you the size difference in case you want to go for the one meter let's just open this oh, up think, for you Oh, it is one meter. Yeah, is that sorry. One meter? Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. So if I open that, you can see we've got some really good coverage in that. Um, now this is your winter wolf, um, but it doesn't have to be for winter. Not at all. Again, no. you can go in, and you can use your pens and things like that, and you can warm it up, or you can make it summery. Again, it's up to you. You're, you're kind of like the designer within that for for yourself. Yeah, I love this. Could be a fox, actually, it could. as well as a wolf. Yeah. Uh, depending on the colourings that you use, if you want to use colours. Remember, these are great for all kinds of crafting. Top quality cotton as well. One four four two nine nine is your option for the two uh, meters. Uh, sorry, for the, I'm going to get that right in a moment. The <laughs> one meter times two because you're getting the pattern fabric and you're also getting the green fabric as well. And the details at the bottom of your screen if you want to go for the two half meters. Um, and remember, everything you can divide into two. Now, I do need to give you some news on the ribbon. 45% has gone of the ribbon. Let me just show you that. You get 10 metres of that vintage ribbon and it's only £9.99. pence. Very, very busy for that. 612821 is your item number if you want to go for that. Right, we're going to head back to Lewis for some demonstrations. If you have any questions, uh, please do email in. It's studio at hochanda.com or you can leave a message on Facebook and we'll get that question through to the studio to Lewis here. Um, and we've got some great demos coming up. Uh, head to the website also and have a look at all the other options on there as well. Uh, right, let's head back. Lewis, what are we going to have a look at first? So I've already, as you've been showing the fabrics, sewn some ribbons together. Um, I wanted to kind of show again with this kind of like the jelly roll kind of style that I said earlier. Um, now I did show this on my last show and I think it kind of triggered a lot of people and they were kind yes. of like, oh, okay, I get it now. So I'm just going to kind of show you how quickly we can make uh, maybe an iPad um, case or a bookcase or something like that. Um, I've already kind of sewn things together uh, already, but just literally sewing the two bits of ribbon together, um, or that linen ribbon. So I'm just going to carry on sewing four pieces together now. Now, is it like wallpaper? Do we have to match it up? Not at no. all, no. I think it looks better. There is a bag sample on the end near you. Um, where it's kind of all mismatched and I've like to be fair I brushed that one and you wouldn't know like it kind of looks kind of cool and vintagey and something that I would be happily gift someone. I like this yeah it looks great and, and again in the colour that it is with that vintage vibe but if you wanted to add a bit of colour uh, with your fabric paints or your dyes then absolutely fantastic um, and that's just putting that down in strips and it does show that you can take it beyond wrapping or just using it as uh, binding for example or maybe shoulder straps we're taking it and using it for a full project and it looks fantastic really like these it's really different isn't it sorry i just had to rethread my that's all right machine half always. the stock has gone of the ribbon now um very very busy 10 meters of that vintage ribbon that's what we're using at the moment in the demonstration also showing you in these great samples imagine taking that ribbon you've got 10 meters of it and then making and creating bags pencil cases um cases for your uh, technology for your phones for your um for your tablets as well. Um, absolutely love that, but we're very, very busy. It's only five pounds today if you want to pop that into your basket because we are, of course, in the midst of our Flex Stravaganza event. Right, let's head back to Lewis. So I'm just adding the last piece on. And then what I normally do, I'm a very kind of, I've said this before, with my sewing, I like 
I, I do de like detailed projects and things like that, but I quite like the simple projects, you yes. know, when you can just like do lots and then put them on the stool and sell them. Go well, that's a very good question, actually. Uh, can you make, create and sell with your fabric? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. That's perfectly fine. Uh, we have an angel policy, so that's perfectly fine. You can make and sell as much as you like. Okay, so now I kind of have like a cocoon of fabric. Oh, um, a, a cocoon, I love like <laughs> I don't know that. where that came from, it's very early <laughs> still for me. Um, a fabric there, so it's kind of like rigid, it looks almost like a, like a beehive, I think. It's kind of that like texture. Um, and it, like I said, with the fabrics not matching, you've not matched the, the ribbons up at all, it kind of has that vintage feel there. And all I'm going to do is literally. Fold, uh, fold it over and I'm going to get some of the grey fabric from the uh, matching fabrics and I'm just going to cut to size what, I, what I'd like. Okay. And the grey backing that we've got, the grey fabric yes. with um, all of the options, that's two top quality, 100% cotton. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I would say with everything that comes, uh, when, it, when you get your items, wash it before you sew. Okay. Uh, so allow for shrinkage um, and it will soften up. So with the printed fabrics, they, um, they're dig digitally printed. So they have like a chemical on them, so yes. they can digitally print. Then they're heat, uh, heat fixed. So just to kind of make sure that you're allowing yourself um, shrinkage yes. space and things yeah, like that. Yeah, of course. Of course. Um, and will that the depend on the, like, the cotton that you use? Do you think make it and then wash it or wash it first? You know, if you're going to sell it or sell yeah. it with washing instructions? No, would I, would, I would wash it first yeah. and then it will soften up in kind of use. I mean, I've had some pieces, uh, I don't think I've got it with me, um, that I've had for about five years of this yes. cotton. Yeah. And it is beautiful. Like, the, like the, from the first day I got it, it's yeah. the same kind of soft quality. Yes. So that's why I really was kind of keep using the word adamant today. It's my word of the day. That's all right. But we can all have a marmalade word. <laughs> that's what it's all about. So again, I'm going to go in and just sew this right down here. So it's right sides together. Okay. designing fabrics, Lewis, where do you yeah. take your inspiration from? Um, so a lot of them, a lot of the time it's kind of to go for a walk or um, a, a member, a family member or friends. Um, so if a friend's a bit cheeky and I've got a bit of character to them, I might think, oh, they're, they're a little bit like, I don't know, a cheeky monkey or yeah. something like that. Yeah. And things like that, I kind of, it kind of connects in my head weirdly, I don't know why. Um, but then I kind of go into like, oh, that could be quite a nice fabric. Oh, and, and then I do this. Oh, and then I do that. And then it kind of unravels. Sometimes it starts off to be something completely different, and then it goes a completely different way. Yes. Uh, but I enjoy that. It's kind of like the element of fun for me, because you never know where it's going to go. Now, I've got some news on the ribbon. We knew we were going to be busy for this. Um, is it limited stock? It's limited stock, everyone. Which means if you do want to get hold of it, if you have just joined us, this has proven to be extremely popular. It's what Lewis is using at the moment in the demonstrations. Pop it into your basket, that's what I recommend. Maybe go for two, because you can divide the cost into two payments, two monthly payments. It's interest-free as well. It's only five pounds today. Uh, 9.99 today and 9.99 in a month's time would actually get you two but it's limited stock uh, so do choose wisely and maybe uh, crack on with that as they say 612 821 is your item number if you want to go for the ribbon it's 10 meters and it's linen as well it's absolutely gorgeous and you can decorate it however you want you can use your fabric paints with this and you can use it in many, many different projects as well and you could also add some beads to this some buttons to this um, oh we've sold out Oh, I can't get any more. I've literally been hounding my supplier. Really? Yeah, and, and it's difficult it. at the moment, isn't yeah. it? Uh, so we've sold out. We've sold out okay. of uh, that ribbon. So yeah. In that case, let's move on. Yes. Well, we can we can, can we can continue with the demo. Yeah. 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 Because we're using the grey fabric, which yeah, you're getting in the other fabric choices that we have. Okay. So let me finish this quickly.
So again, you could make this into a cushion as well. There's no kind of... Say if I folded this inside out now, yeah. that's kind of like your kind of... Like a bolster cushion. Yeah, yeah. straight away. Or uh, a draft excluder. Oh, yes. we all need one of those right now, oh, don't we? Oh my goodness, yes. That would be a good idea. So I'm just going to push up them corners so they're nice and sharp. Again, as it's linen, it may have a little bit of frayage, so you can just pull that away. That's fine. I'm just going to snap that down, actually. Did you like textiles at school? Yes, but because I got dyslexia and I was yeah. very arty, I was yeah. a very naughty boy at school. <laughs> so I would dance around with the fabric pretend I was in Oliver and things like that. Like <laughs> it was never, <laughs> never something serious um, yes. that I kind of did. Um, I used to make a lot of dresses though. Did you? Yeah, and when I was at uh, primary school, um, not primary school, play school even, my mum was called in because I made some uh, dresses for Barbies, but I made them out of like scrap pieces of fabric and yeah. sellotape. And my mum said they were like quality ball gowns that wow. I'd seen on, in magazines or what have you. Your mum was called in? Yeah. Why was she called in? Because they were like, this is unbelievable. Like, this is wow. not kind of the norm, norm, for... norm for that age. Um, so I've always kind of had a love for it. But my family history with like, fabrics and um, things like that is quite rich as well. Yes. So my nan's mum was a milliner for Vogue oh, wow. and she was the first milliner to be put on the front of Vogue magazine. Really? Actually. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> Do you have that copy in there? I don't and we don't, can't find it as a family. Oh, I know, no. so it's gutting. Um, but I've got a lot of her pieces, um, hats and clothes yeah. that she used to make. I mean, um, if anybody can help with any Vogue oh, issues, yeah. if you've been collecting Vogue, who knows, there might be somebody out there That would be really moment, cool, actually, to see. Who collects Vogue <laughs> magazines. Um, if you do, or you can help in any way, email in or get in contact with me on my Facebook, and I'll pass your details over to Lewis. That would, be, be, amazing it would be amazing if together we could find that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it would. So I'm literally folding this over. This is such, again, like I said, a simple project. Yes. But you could probably sell this. So Ten five pound on your craft yeah. store. Lots of people are selling online now, working Absolutely. from home, yeah. turning their crafting into business as well. And more and more people are getting into soft crafts. Maybe you've got um, a sewing machine coming to you for Christmas, or maybe you've got one from a hand-me-down or something like that. very interesting actually because um, just before Christmas we sadly lost my nan's brother oh, I'm sorry about that. Um, and we've been going kind of sorting through his house and I found an uh, old suitcase full of he used to be I uh, always get this word wrong musician oh, I said it right this time musician yeah yeah, yeah. I normally say it really weird um, <laughs> <laughs> so he used to write music and compose music yeah and it's kind of given me another inspiration for something coming up really? that I've been working on, yeah. And that's just kind of, with this kind of the scrolly of the um, ribbon, it's kind yes. of made me think about it. Mm. Can't wait for that to come through. Watch this space. Yes. <laughs> so again, that is that complete. And yeah. you can neaten at the edges, you could probably roll them over again. Yeah. And do like a, um, a flip, double double seam, whatever yeah. it's called. Um, but again, that's an, an, a simple kind of iPad case Love that. that you could use yeah. to store something. How about a little hot water bottle in there oh, as well? Oh yeah, I could yeah. do one of those now. Yeah, <laughs> that would be fabulous. But you can see how quickly that particular project came together. Now I know we sold out of the ribbon, but we've still got some magnificent fabrics, all designed by Lewis. Uh, now Penny has emailed in, she's been using the fabric. She loves Leo's fabric. And oh, look at this cushion cover, Lewis. Wow. This is for her 14-year-old granddaughter, Ellie. That's amazing. That is amazing. Please send me that to my Facebook page as well, and I'll share that. That is beautiful. That, that shows off the fabric. It really does. Perfectly. Now, her granddaughter is an amazing artist. We've got another picture to show you. And she wow. sent in a picture. No way. That, that there is what her grand... Do we know the granddaughter's name? This is what Ellie drew. How old was she? 12 years old with pencils. Wow. I can't, 
If you excuse the pun, I can't believe that. <laughs> uh, apparently, she was going through her eye drawing face. That's... Wow, incredible. Oh my. It looks like I... a photo. That is it. That is absolutely incredible. Sign her up. <laughs> that, that, oh, do you know, I wish I could draw that well. That is absolutely yeah. incredible. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. Very, very talented family. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and they've got a good choice in fabrics. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> <laughs> they, they certainly have. Right, let's take you through the options that we've got available for you. They're absolutely fascinating. And the more that you look at these fabrics, the more that you see. And I'm not just saying that because we've got eyes on the fabric. But let's take a look at the Williams fabric. Now, on first glance of this, we take a look and we see those beautiful swirls. But then if you come in closer, we've got birds in here, we've got buds, we've got flowers. So you've got all of that interest. There you go. I'm just going to try and find where you are on the... There you are. There you go. Uh, so you've got those birds. Now, is the pattern, Lewis, on a repeat? Um, yes, it is. So it constantly kind of flows on there. Love that. Uh, now, the bird, oh, let's have a look. There's a couple of different birds in there. Yeah, now one of the birds, it looks like it's got a little worm in its mouth, but I think it's the trail of the uh, plant behind it. How interesting, oh, and there's another one. There's another <laughs> one just behind it, just there. Just there, you see, the two, just there. I think we should have a name. I think people should come pick, help us pick a name for these birds. Please, <laughs> we need names for the birds. We need <laughs> names for the birds. Um, uh, maybe one has to be called William. Oh, or Willie. Little Willie. <laughs> Willie and Billy, maybe. Maybe the two together. I was going to say something good. wrong then, and I realised I was on TV, so I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I do love that. And remember, if you want to dye these, you can. They're 100% cotton, so you can add colour to these. I think it would be really interesting if you've got... We were talking the other day on a show about natural dyes using mm. spices and, and oh. natural ingredients. And every, I love the fact with natural dyes, it's different every time. Yeah. And it's kind of that element of organic, isn't it? And mm. is that, yeah, I love that, would, that would be fabulous. If any of you use the fabrics with your natural dyes, do let us know or leave your pictures um, on Lewis's Facebook page. It'd be lovely to see. So these are your half metre. Uh, you also get the plain grey as well. So it's two pieces of fabric. Then you've got the leaves have eyes. This is also very, very fascinating. Um, and if you are into your embroidery, you could add some stitching to that. Do you know what I was thinking looking at this, Lewis? With this particular eye, where are you? Where are, there where you are go. You? <laughs> where are you? That there, if I was to add some embroidery, I'd make that into a bird. Oh, really? You know, like a, like a partridge. Yeah. It's got that kind of style. Yeah. Um, where are we? Yeah, plumage, yeah, mm -hmm. or, or body shape. I would possibly, yeah, add some beaks onto that and make That's them into really birds. That's really cool. Yeah, I like that. It'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's, again, it's showing that you can move, like push the elements even further. Yeah. And, and I like that. And if you wanted to, of course, you could snip into that. Oh, there's another. See that one there? That looks like a bird. Just there. <laughs> see, with the beak. Oh, yeah. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. These, these fabrics are absolutely fascinating. You wait till you get them <laughs> home. And, and, and I think just sitting down, having a look at the fabric, having a look at the designs, having a look at what's in there, it's going to spark some imagination and spark the creativity. It really is. It's not just a fabric. Uh, you do get the grey fabric included. That's your half a metre. Your next option, the wings have eyes. I'm going to take this one out, actually, to show you. It's also good to see the size, isn't it, uh, with your half metre. Uh, so this is the wings have eyes. Let me turn that that way for you so we can get a shot of that. There you go. So you have your butterflies and the eyes in the wings. Now, I think with fabric like this, you'll have a look and you'll think, oh, that's a lovely design of a butterfly because Admiral butterflies and a lot of butterflies look like they have eyes, eyes in their wings. That, yeah. um, but then you'll look closer and you'll say, yeah, they are eyes. It's fascinating, isn't it? These are lovely. And I love the flowers and leaves that you've got in the background as well. £19.99 is the price for your half metre. Remember, you're also getting the grey included as well with each of the designs. Um, so let me pop that there. The next one is your Emporium. Now, these, the next four that we've got are also available in one metre as well, which is a continuous cut. And that's at the bottom of the screen if you want to go for that. Remember, all prices dividable into two months interest-free payments. Uh, so the next one we've got here is your Emporium. Uh, this, is, this is a favourite of our Meg's producer today. Fabulous, isn't it? Look at all the different designs in there that you could fussy cut around if you want to. 
Uh, you could also put it on a canvas. I think that would be a really cool idea with some of your fabric paints. Lots of different images in there. Anyone that likes steampunk or mixed media style artwork, absolutely sensational. Do love that. Uh, you also get the grey fabric with that. Next up, we've got your swarm. If you're a lover of bees, oh my word, this is absolutely fantastic. We've got a lovely sample here. Nearly a quarter of the stock of your swarm has gone. Um, and when you see it in a project like this, you can see just how lovely that is with that pattern and how interesting it is. You've got that great vintage vibe. So whether it's a bolster cushion, uh, whether you're using this as a draft excluder, maybe a dress, a jacket, it's all 100% cotton. It's top, top quality as well. It's just going to get beautiful and soft uh, when you wash it and use it. 509996 is your item number for the half meter. Uh, next up, we've got the, yeah, the elephants. The elephants is next. Half the stock of the elephants has gone, half oh, the wow. stock. Uh, I'm going to open this one up as well because it's really nice to see the design. I don't want just to see half an elephant. We want to see the whole of the elephant, the full elephant. Um, absolutely amazing. Now, are these Indian elephants with the small ears? I think it's African elephants think have the large ears. Yeah. Indian elephants yeah. have the smaller ears. That's right. I find that fascinating as well. I do as well. That the elephants on two different continents... But same, they're still kind of the same, same species. Mammal, different, yeah. Developed differently. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, these are Indian elephants with the smaller ears. African elephants have the larger ears. Um, absolutely incredible. Love these. And then you've got the banana trees. You've got the cheeky monkey grabbing his lunch. Um, brilliant. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, 19.99 again. It's half meter, and you can see the elephants there. I wonder what's the name for all the elephants in a row when they all hook up with their tails. I'm sure, there's a, the, I'm sure there's a name for that. Oh. It's not a line of elephants, that would be too obvious, but it might be. I think it's called something. Mm. I think it's called something. Um, but they, they all line up, which is really cute, holding each other's tail. Uh, right, and you also get your grey fabric with that. And then, something different for you, with the green fabric is the winter wolf. Not just for winter, though, is it, Lewis? Not at all. And, again, with the, this green fabric has come already washed with it so you can feel how soft yeah, that can. green fabric is compared to the uh the gray so the gray does need washing but that is just so silky it just feels Ooh, luxurious really it's beautiful yeah, yeah it it almost is like a it's a cotton isn't it yeah. it does it gives the impression of a silk because it's pre-washed and incredibly soft absolutely sumptuous 19.99 it's half a metre of the green, half a metre of the winter wolf, 509996. Down the bottom of your screen, if you want it in the metre, that's a metre of this beautiful soft green fabric and the winter wolf fabric, then the details, 3999. That's 144299 is your item number. Now, if you want to colour your fabric, we've got some fabric markers for you. It's a set of 10. You've got some great colours in there, every colour of the rainbow, and then the darker earthy colours in there as well. They're just 999. 674155. I think that is an um, excellent value for money. And again, you can divide the cost into two. So have fun with your fabric. Maybe give some of the fabric to younger members of the family that are not at school at the moment to get them interested in textiles. Um, and then we've also got some threads, some variegated thread. These are a seven day saver, so they will be available for seven days. Uh, colours will vary £14.95, 321857 is your item number for those. Then another seven day saver for you is a Hessian roll fabric pack. Now you've got a choice of green or a choice of red, so you could instantly just lay these out and have them as um, mats for, for your table, use them with your mixed media projects, or use them in conjunction with the fabrics that we've got on the show today. I think they would frame the fabrics perfectly. £10.99, you're saving £25 on that particular deal. If you want to go for that, Right, back to Lewis. What are we going to have a look at now, Lewis? I just want to say, with them uh, variegated threads as well, Yes. I use that on a sample. I've not got it with me. On the, uh, the leaves have eyes, and it looks amazing oh, with really? the leaves. Kind of makes it look 3D, so they're really, really cool. Oh, what a great idea. Thanks, Lewis. That's all right. So I'm going to show you how to sew in the round with a straight piece of fabric. Okay. Now, this is the first time I've done it on TV. Is so it? Bear with me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stitching in the round yeah. with a straight, straight piece. piece of fabric. Okay. And a lot of people with the bolster cushion, they're like, oh my God, that looks amazing. But I'm so scared to kind of do that with a round piece as well with the trim in there. And it's 
I want to show you that it's actually a lot easier. You just need to take your time okay. than you think it is. All right, let's okay? see. Right, wish me luck. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. You don't need it. So all, the key is pin, really pin this time. Could you tack it instead of pinning? Um, you could, but I like to kind of pin so you can move them out of the way. Then you know it's done. Yeah, There's true. no kind of messing true. around. So again, just taking it really easy, moving them pins out the way, moving that fabric around. I think the key is taking your time, isn't it? Lewis? Absolutely, with this one, yes. Um, because you want that kind of nice round roundness to the fabric. I'm just going to move it out of the way. And it's just, again, it's a process of flipping it around, moving that fabric around with it to kind of make sure it matches that roundness. I think if, it, if you don't have a sewing machine and you're not keen on sewing at the moment but you want to get into fabric craft, you could always use some fuser web. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah. And just create your projects that way. That's um, how I started with a lot of, I used to make costumes when I was younger and that's, really? I didn't know how to sew, so yeah. Yeah. It was like glue, gluing it together, so yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And also, with the different styles of fabric and the patterns that we've got, I think they would make excellent fronts to cards. So if you were to cut out the fabric and use the correct glue to add it to your card, or maybe mixed media MDF, um, I also think that's going to be really effective. Yeah, that would look really cool mm. actually, wouldn't it? And it has it as a backing and things like that. Um, we do have some interfacing and wadding at the bottom of the screen if you want to go for that. 103 400 is your item number. That's 103 400. Uh, we'll bring it up on the side of the screen so you can see that. Um, because you can divide the cost into two payments of £7.50, you might want to add it to your basket. Uh, it's a great opportunity just to stock up. And then it means you've got the items there ready to go. So that's one metre of fusible wadding and one metre of medium weight uh, as well. So... Um, so if you, yeah, I guess for your quilts and your blankets, 103 400 is your item number at uh, £14.99. Very That's good really little addition. Good. Yeah, really good actually. Good to have in your stash. Okay. I think blinds and curtains would look, would look amazing really in your cool. fabrics as um, well. I've got, my mum's got a lampshade in those leaves have eyes, those oh, plants have eyes. Wow. And my sister's got uh, notice boards and lampshades in Emily the Elephant. I bet they got some really cool Christmas presents this year from you. Well, yeah, but none of them were crafted because, <laughs> as soft crafters know, it spend, you spend a lot of time sewing and most of the time it's for samples for here. Yeah. So, um, unfortunately, they didn't get any handmade ones this year. Maybe next year? Maybe next year. <laughs> Maybe next year. It's that or I nick them back <laughs> and say, oh, I'm just going to borrow yeah. this because it's, <laughs> it's on tomorrow. <laughs> So gently does it, taking out the pins. Slowly, slowly, yeah. And this is the first time you've done it on TV? It is, yeah. You're doing really well now. Thanks. I'm not finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> Accident's still going to happen. Uh, I've got some news on the swarm option, the swarm, not sworn, the swarm option. Uh, in the half metre, Oh, in the metre, um, it's limited stock. That's proven to be very, very popular. That's a swarm. I know it would be. Bees are popular with crafters. It's a beautiful fabric with the flower as well that you've got. Uh, but we're limited now. So if you do want to get a hold of that, pop it into your basket. 144299 is your item number. Uh, it's still available in the half metre, but your sweet swarm. Uh, easy for you to say it's early in the morning, Janice. Uh, 39.99 if you want to go for that. And there it is in that beautiful bolster. It's so soft. It's gorgeous. And uh, Lewis recommends washing it before you mm -hmm. use it Absolutely. because then you get that shrinkage with yeah. all cotton products. But it makes it nice and soft. It does. Love I'm really cosy. Yeah. I need to get to put that on my bedroom. It's okay. kind of sat in a box of samples, but it's never seen a lot of day yet, so I need to do that. Okay, so the grand reveal. Let's da -da 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 -da. That, that looks, looks fabulous. so impactful, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. See, I still can't get my head around that, how it's round, but you just went straight forward through the sewing yeah, machine. Yeah, because you're slowly kind of bringing it round and pulling it round. But you can't see any pulls on it. No, well, 
or any pleats or anything Just don't like look that. Too close. <laughs> <laughs> you know, normally with fabric tape, yeah, yeah. To, that's amazing. But again, if you're working with good quality fabrics, yeah, you tend to get away with a little bit more. Yeah, like, I guess with mistakes and things yeah. like that and like yeah. the last show I was on I made two mistakes but it shows the quality and the strength of the fabric because I just unpicked it by ripping it and it started yeah. it again so with this I was going to make like a bag storage yeah that'd be a good thing idea. yeah don't really know what to make so we'll go for that yeah. I need to show actually while it's in my head a lovely gift that was sent to me over Christmas by the lovely Helen oh and she made out of my uh, Santa's boots fabric I love a little mask to keep me safe over Christmas, bless her, and with the coordinating do you know, fabric. Do you know what? More and more of us, we have to wear masks, of course yeah. we do, when we go out. So that's a great idea. If we're going to wear a mask, wear something with a bit of difference, a bit of talking and point. something that you've made. So someone's yeah. going to say, oh, well, where did you get your mask from? And you're like, hm, I made it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a great yeah, idea. Yeah, it's really lovely to kind of receive that in the post. So thank mm. you very much, Helen. Oh, thanks for that. So now to make that into a bag, would you just stitch down? Stitch down, and you could do, again, you could, it's quite a long piece of fabric because I've not cut it, but you could make that into um, an over-the-shoulder bag, just yeah. add a strap to Good it. Idea, yeah. And you could have a really cool, something different, different shapes and things like that. I'm just going to quickly play around with this, though, to get my seams right. Um, and then I will sew, sew it down. Right, whilst you're sorting that out, Lewis, I'm just going to have a recap on the fabric that we've got available for everybody. Uh, if, if you are just joining us, it's great to have your company. We've got some gorgeous fabrics. Um, and what we love about these are the design, what's in them, the quality, and also the fact that you've got the choice to colour them up if you want to. Right, let's start with your first option. This is your William, beautiful soft fabric, lovely design, named after Lewis's uh, father. And uh, what we have in here, beautiful swirls, but you've also got the birds in there as well. So with all the fabric, get it home, lay it out, have a look, see what you can see in there and see what you want to make the features of the different fabrics. Your half a metre, 19.99, also comes with your grey fabric as well. So you get the two pieces and that's your backing fabric. You can use that grey fabric for something else if you want to. It's all 100% cotton, so super soft, 509.996. Your next option is your plants have eyes absolutely fascinating uh, with this one it really really is you've got the larger eyes you've got the smaller eyes as well so again take a look at this see what you can make out of it see what parts you want to feature heavily in your designs you also get your gray fabric as well uh, we also have your butterflies so the wings have eyes and this is where it all began and nearly a third of the stock has gone it's beautiful fabric now you could color those in so they don't look like eyes at all or you could make them stand out so they really do look like eyes on the butterflies it's such a clever design that's been put together here because as you know butterflies the kaleidoscope of butterflies that are available they do look like they have eyes on their wings that's a very very clever design also comes with your gray, gray fabric then your next four items are available in half meter or one meter so you get to choose the first one is your Emporium. Look at the different designs on there. You've got the maps on there. Love the quality of the print as well, like that vintage newspaper print, blue prints, for example. Um, that's an idea, actually. Having some light blue dye on here or pens would look amazing, or maybe some sepia or yellow colours to make it look really vintage. $19.99 if you want to go for the half metre, or $39.99 if you want to go for the one metre. And that's one metre in your pattern fabric, and one metre in the grey or half a metre in each if you choose to do so. Uh, what's proven to be very popular is the swarm. Yeah, we're limited stock on the one metre. Of course, you can go for two half metres, but they will be cut in half metres. Uh, 19 99 for the half metre, 39 99 for the one metre. Then we've got your elephants, beautiful fabric. We've also been very, very busy for this as well. I think um, any kind of tropical image, uh, jungle image is always, always popular and very, very on trend. 509996, 1999 for your half metre or 3999 for your one metre. And then we've got the winter wolf. Now, the green green fabric comes already pre-washed and that's where you see this beautiful softness uh, you see softness um, and you feel it as well it almost looks like silk doesn't it um, it is beautiful and I guess the drapage with this would be fantastic 19.99 if you want to go for the half meter uh, 39.99 if you want to go for the full one meter now we do have uh, samples around uh, the um, 
studio, the set, yeah, there it is. Uh, we've got some gorgeous dresses as well. Uh, and I think we can see the beautiful drape that we've got with the fabric because that's also important whether you're making curtains blinds dresses trousers bags uh, quilts for example don't forget that quilts look amazing in these fabrics um, and you can see there uh, the drapage that's that would make a fantastic dress and that's stunning that is st and when we can all go out again safely my what an entrance you're going to make with a dress like that what a great talking point. Absolutely beautiful, uh, especially if you're on holiday. And all you need with that, as you can see there, just a bit of colour in the middle. You don't need to add any colour to that fabric. Sensational. Love that. Love that. So those are your options for your fabrics. And we also have those fabric pens if you want to go for them as well. Uh, but let's head back to Lewis and continue with the demonstrations. Back to you, Lewis. Hello. <laughs> I think we've okay. got five minutes left on the show. Okay. That should lead me up to this then. So all I'm going to do is literally run a straight stitch to join them both together. Okay. And you've got a seam on both sides? I have, yeah. I've allowed myself about half an inch seam on each side. Okay, and as I've not bought any ribbon with me, I thought, why not use some of the scraps of the vintage yes. ribbon on there? So yep. again, as crafters, we never throw anything away. No, no. <laughs> we have sold out of the ribbon, everyone. Um, so well done to everyone, and thank you who bought it earlier on. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, I'm just going to crop this excess off. And I do a bit of a cheat. So, you know when you kind of do a drawstring bag or anything like that? Yeah. I hate trying to feed the, the ribbon through. So I do this, <laughs> where I go over the top and then I fold over, like so. Okay. So then I need to keep a bit open, actually. See, again, look, I'm ripping, easily ripping that. It's good. It shows how strong it is, this fabric. And I'm just going to put a quick knot in there. I love the way how easy your projects come together, Lewis, uh, and you make it look so achievable and so attractive to people who have perhaps sitting at home thinking, shall I get into soft crafts? Yeah. There's a lot of people doing that at the moment. Yeah. You know, we're spending time at home, so we want to... You know, we want to look at our home and think, oh, that cushion cover, I need to make something new, make, yeah. make our own clothes as well, because we know what fits us and what mm -hmm. feels comfortable. And what looks good, yeah. Uh, absolutely. I think this is why I try and do bring easier projects um, to Chanda, because uh, one of my friends, actually, Tina, she messaged me the other day and she said, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at getting a sewing machine and wanted some advice on that. And she said, oh, and I might actually try some of your easier projects that you have on TV. And I thought, oh, okay. And that kind of, in my head, was a bit like, oh, okay, that's validation that people are liking those, hopefully. But if I, I can bring some more detailed ones, if you yeah. wish, yeah. like dressmaking and things like that. I don't work from a pattern. I'm a draper. Yeah. Well, I'm a lot of things, but I'm definitely a draper. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you say, it, when you say it, do you make your dresses? Off a mannequin. So I, I don't like to conform. Yeah. Um, so I like to kind of drape fabric on, on mannequins to get weird and unusual shapes mm. and then go from there and, and take them off there. and sew yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. I like that. What a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm doing now, I'm just sewing around the bag with one layer in. So I've got a kind of, I don't know if you can see, I've got a bit of a hole here. Yeah. So that's the front of the bag. And I'm just going all the way around, again, as if I'm kind of sewing in the round again, but with a straight stitch. But that ribbon is tucked inside. I'm just going to go that. Well, I do know that when you were working here at Hochanda, you were requested by quite a few people for their fabric shows because you used to dress the set. I did, yeah. <laughs> so beautifully. I think we even had uh, one of the shows I went on and actually dressed and the presenter when you could obviously be near each other um i think it was leonia we dressed her just 
pins her in the back and made her a dress live on TV. Oh, do you know what? I'd, I'd <laughs> love that. I don't wear dresses that much, but I'd love... I'd love to, to have one designed around me. I think that would be fascinating. Yeah. Maybe when you come back, we can do it. Yeah. Will you dress me? I'm more than happy to. Thank more you. Than happy to. Thank you. Um, <laughs> how many minutes? Oh, we've, got, we've got 40 seconds left on the show. Uh, Lewis, I don't know where the time goes. I've been enjoying my time with you. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Well, how can people get in touch with you? Uh, I'm on Facebook, Leo of London, and on Instagram, Leo of London, and Twitter. Oh, Lewis, <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure. Absolutely love your designs. They're Thank fabulous. You. Can't wait to see you again. Do we know when you're back? Uh, not, I don't have a date yet. Okay. So, yeah. Well, hopefully we'll get one in the bag very, very soon. Uh, thanks, Lewis, and thank you for watching as well. We still have plenty more shows coming up for you here on Hochanda. Go and check all these super-duper fabrics out on the website and make your choice. Uh, and remember, you can divide the cost into two with our Flex Extravaganza events. Check out your baskets. We'll see you in a minute. Uh, right, coming up next, we've got Paper Rose with Karen. Uh, we've got Let Leone Loose after that. And then Heartfelt Creations One Day Special at Midday. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection, and this was down to Josie, using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy Bee shows on Hachanda. It's Flex Travaganza time, folks. From Thursday the 31st of December at 6 p.m. to Friday the 15th of January at 6 p.m., we would like to offer you our thanks and best wishes for 2021 by bringing you our Flex Travaganza event. If you add at least £5 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flextravaganza Flexi Basket offers. This means you can spread the cost of your entire order over two equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you a more cost efficient way of shopping with us. Flexible payments for everyone. Join us from Thursday, the 31st of December, to make your shopping experience with Hachanda even easier. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter, all work in the company, and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have. So we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand drawn by me, they're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture of this shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Julie. And I'm Paula. And together we are Julie Hickey Designs. 
We formed our partnership after many years of friendship, after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made to the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etched that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Judy Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. You. Good morning, Karen. Good morning. How are you? I'm feeling a lot, lot better now. Are Thank you? you. Yes. Why were you feeling indifferently this morning? Because my machine decided not to work. Oh, really? And then I took it into the into my dressing room yes. and I gave it a stern talking Did to. You? I told it it was going in the bin. And guess what? Oh my word, that's harsh. I was harsh because it was harsh to me this morning. But guess what? Go on. It started working. Has it? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Let's see how long that lasts for, then. <laughs> it might rebel again. Uh, we've got a great show lined up for you, and we have been telling you throughout the days that we've got a Flex Extravaganza event on. If you have just joined us and you think, well, what's that all about? It means you can divide the cost of anything over £5 into two monthly payments, interest-free as well. So it's a great time to stock up and to restock on your crafty goodiness. So shop ahead. We've got lots on the website as well. All of the dies from Paper Rose are stunning. We were looking at them in prep today and there's something different isn't there with these dies there is they're very very hard working dies they're very very sturdy they're not flimsy at all um and they take some banging because like when you when you're prepping up quick you yeah. don't want to be there with a brush or anything else you just whack it <laughs> and it, it doesn't bend or anything else like that but yeah they're beautiful uh, they're fabulous designs as well aren't they and it's all on direct dispatch of course paper rows are from they're from australia yeah, they are and, business. yeah and stuart um is their uk distributor yes yeah, perfect. So that's why Oakwood Archer bring paper rolls yeah, to Stuart us. Yeah, from Oakwood Archer. That's yes. the one. Yeah. Let's take a look at the first design. Love this. Lots of um, intricate design in there, but you'll see if I show you first of all what the dies look like when you cut them out, you've got three different options of how you can use these. Well, yes, the, the second, the one that just looks plain, if you give it a wiggle, that's just an emboss. There you go. So I've just popped that through with uh, an em embossed it. What a beautiful frame, though, this is. It's absolutely and gorgeous. And the centre as well. Let me show you a sample, bringing those together. That's different, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, you can embroider in that as well. That's uh, like one that I made. I made one of those this, this morning. Love um, that. But you can embroider it. You can have just the centre as well, or you can put both together, or you can actually pop it into the middle and cut it out all as, all as one. Yeah, I think that's stunning. You know, if you've got some grey board, for example, and a really good craft knife, you could make and create frames, and you could sell them with this particular pattern on, uh, die cut in a card and stick it on top. Yep. That would look amazing. Yeah. You, can buy, you can buy mount board and mount board <clears throat> cutters yeah. that you can cut, yeah. cut it out. £19.99, no, you get the two dies included, that's the outer die and the centre die. Remember, you can spread the cost, so it's only £10 today uh, and then £10 in a month's time. But as Karen said, that really is a worker die, that's going to do a lot for you and could be your go-to die as well because of the outside making that framework. Lots of different sentiments, you could just put a sentiment in the middle uh, or a flower in the middle and you've got yourself a great card. 445948 is your item Put a picture number. in the middle picture in the middle would look yes you get a photograph cut it down yeah. to size yeah that would look lovely yeah the next one is your happy days so not only do you have happy days in there uh, but you've also got happy days because you've got this fantastic die now with this Karen you could just cut out that part 
and use that at the top of a, a card if you want to. Or back of an envelope. Yeah. Yeah. Stunning, it's, isn't there's it? A lot of, there's a lot of adaptability for them. Yeah, uh, they like are them. They are the one die. I uh, absolutely loved using them, but you can cut, you know, snippability, that's the word, isn't it? Now, uh, landscape or portrait uh, with this card. Uh, again, lots of beautiful detail in there. You could add your glossy accents in there. Uh, maybe do some little paper piecing back into there with a the scrap. Cut two or three out, yeah. uh, put them together and put um, uh, your glossy accents with colour. You yeah. can mix glossy accents with colour and colour it. Put it onto uh, acetate and colour behind it with your alcohol markers. Oh, do you know what? That would be lovely. Mm. That would be absolutely stunning. Uh, 19 99 again, a beautiful die that you're going to get so much pleasure off because you also have the sentiment in there as well. 581 is your item number. Brand new today. Now, we've got some borders for you. These are beautiful and we've got some great samples here of how you can use your heart borders only 13 pounds and 99 pence you get two dies it really is a great price and look what you can do with your borders these are fabulous they're absolutely fabulous they're, they're slightly different one is more straight and one is quite is is quite wavy but it's not just for cutting ones cut it cut, make it make ribbons make your own ribbons out of it down the side of a card yeah. if you've got a machine that will take a 12 by 12 or a 6 by 12 you could do a border for your scrapbooking pages now Karen can we extend these we've got they, the die that produces this particular size the size being uh, just under 20, 22 centimetres. 22 centimetres. Could you extend that and it's maybe eight, cut again? Eight and a half inches. Eight and a half, eight and a half Is inches. Is that 22 centimetres? Possibly, yes. Yeah, yeah, eight and a half inches. Uh, but yes, yeah, it, uh, it cuts um, and then you just put it on to... Once you've cut one, you pop the other one so into, the, it into extend, extend it. it yeah. Ah. And then you save all the hearts. Yeah. As Adam was saying this morning, you could put, um, you can save the hearts and piece them with a different, uh, a different colour. Yeah. But I've been saving them for my shaker cards. Yeah, a little and confetti maybe. Confetti, yeah. Yes. When someone gets married. Mm. Yeah. Although you might not be you've able got to go and throw it You've got enough time to save enough for confetti. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you certainly have. Uh, 13 99 um, You do need to use biodegradable confetti at most places now. Some people throw rice, but that can hurt sometimes. Yeah. Cook it first. That depends you if you it. aim for the face. <laughs> <laughs> cook the rice before you throw it. It's nice and soft. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, if you stick cook it, it, catch it, then you can have it as part of the... You know, your meal afterwards, <laughs> the breakfast. If you cook it, it's going to stick to the face and everything. Oh, that'd be fun, though, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> you imagine you're, looking you're, beautiful in the dress and coming out with loads of rice. Your you're face. cruel. <laughs> you're cruel. <laughs> oh, don't let Janice marry you. <laughs> I, think, I think I've just been uninvited from all the weddings I've been invited to this year. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, £13.99. I can marry people now, by the I way. I know you can, because we were going to get married on Christmas Day. Yeah, not me and Karen, no. personally. No, well, I, I don't know whether I could marry us. Me marry us. Yeah, you could, if you're on end. I suppose I could. Do you yeah. take me, I take you. Do I take her, do you take me? Um, but yeah, we could do an illegally but I can marry people in a legally binding sense. But you'll not get any jobs because you're going to throw a coat rice at them. <laughs> yeah, true, true. <laughs> uh, right, thirteen ninety nine um, for your heart borders. We've got some more borders for you. We've got the waves. Uh, your wavy borders. All oh, some fabulous samples here. Um, these are going to be excellent with all of your mixed media style projects uh, for adding texture paste to at the side of because you've got those lovely waves here. Uh, to add to your cards. Here's one of the designs that you can use them for. I love these, Karen. That's just cutting, I just put both sides on as it cut out so that you can see that you can use one as a wavy card and the intermingle, it's not, you don't get any waste on it. It's, it's really, really pretty. But then cutting cards out themselves, they are waves, but to me, they don't look anything like under the sea. But there's plenty of under the sea stuff about. Yeah. I mean, it depends on the way that you look at them as well. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to use that part. You could just use this part. That could be some rolling hills, for example. Yeah. Um, and then turn it around the other way. You could just use the bottom part. You could cut into that. And that could be a really nice texture to your card making. Or that could look like the moon and then the craters behind. Or um, that little bit we've cut off, we could put on top of a straight card and just ink through that bit. 
Yeah, you could do. Yeah, it's a good idea. Um, some more samples here for you to give you an idea of how you can use them. Let's pop that landscape for you. So that could be the edging to your card. These are only twelve ninety nine. Excellent value for money when you can see all the different ways that you can use these particular dies. Twelve ninety nine eight four eight seven seven three is your item number. Now we've had a question from Christine. Uh, Christine would like to know if you can cut material with the dies from Paper Rose. I would say no. I would. I would definitely say no. On um, the reason being is they're very, very delicate, and yeah, with true. material, all it's going to do is. Uh, I wouldn't know if you didn't if you hardened it. You know, yeah. this hardening, hardening that you can make we put uh, it on material. Some fuser web, and maybe put that on some calico. It may I or may don't, not. I don't think calico and no. fuser web, but you can get a spray like a spray start yeah, that will harden it like paper. Well, we've not tried and I'll them. Presume that you mm. might be able to. But I am saying that they are so very delicate and yeah. intricate. Yes. You'd, you you wouldn't cut duckling cuts. When yeah. you're doing with material, you need basic shapes. Yeah. Anything intricate will well, like just the squish. The big that you can get. The big dies for... do that, but then they're not they're not intricate. The big yeah. dies they yeah. are of the shapes. Yeah. I wouldn't. Uh, I'm sorry to say, but I I wouldn't risk it. No. Give it a go, but we've not recommended We're not recommend it, it for no. that. So thank you, Christine, for your email. Thank Any you. more questions, email in studio at hochannel.com. Half the stock of the waves have gone, proving to be popular. Flight. Great price, though. Only, only £6.50 today, if you want to go for that, with the Flex Extravaganza event we've got running at the moment. All different colours. Do them in different colours. Yeah, that would look fantastic. A blue, a turquoise, and, yeah. that, and then you have got the waves, haven't you? That would be amazing. Right, we've got some sound waves for you now. I do like this dye. I think it's funky, it's different, and again, using this for making cards or in mixed media projects, it's absolutely perfect. Here it is on a card. What a great use for it, Karen. Yes, yes, very, very... Uh, the cards that I've done and the, the samples that I've done, I'd like to say thanks to Sam for helping out, but they're not hard to do. They've been quick and it's been enjoyable. Yeah. I've been rummaging through backgrounds, stamp backgrounds, and it's just adding to them. But that one's just not the sound waves across there. You can, if you look down the bottom, that to me looks like skyscrapers. Yeah, it does. Yeah, some buildings. The buildings. Love that. Uh, let's go and break some rules. Perhaps not at the moment. Stay within the rules. Um, but look, we've got that way, or you could have it that way. That, that way is pretty cool, isn't it? That could be. Hey up. Hey up, what's hey up? Hey up, you with me? You're from Yorkshire, that's hey, what we say. Hey up, hey up. <laughs> hey up. I hey, usually say hey no, up. No, that's too posh. It's hey up. I say hey up. You don't know, you're pronouncing your H's. Don't pronounce your H. Hey up. Like hey. Eeyore. Hey. Eeyore. 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 I'm not a donkey. Eeyore. <laughs> Eeyore. 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 I say hey up. Yeah, but you pronounce your H. There's no H in hey up. Hey up, it's H E Y. No, A up. A. A, as in the letter A. We're going to move on in a minute. <laughs> it's like War of the Roses, this, isn't it? Go on, what were your idea? A up is Leicester. A, as in not hey. You're oh. hey up, I'm A up. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. God, I, I, thought thought I, was, I thought you were going to move up to Yorkshire then. <laughs> oh, I'd love to move up to Yorkshire. Would I would. You? Yeah, I would. You just walk outside the house and there's always greenery there. Oh, how lovely. Always. Talking of greenery, Back to the dye, <laughs> I'm thinking a very modern, very different Christmas tree. Yes. You cut that out in green, kind of the shade, a little bit modern, a little bit different. Um, but however you use your sound wave, 12 99 you can divide the cost into two. 354 593 is your item number. Right, last one, last one uh, for now. Another interesting dye for you, and again, a great price for it. Uh, we've got this fantastic grid work. Uh, Five nine zero eight three three eighteen pounds and ninety nine pence. It's your studio graph paper rectangle, and you can use this. Is that embossed? That's embossed mm. to show you how it embosses. But we were speaking this morning, Adam and I, and uh, you could um, you you could use that for, to help children learn to count. Good idea. Abacus. You yep. could cut them out to different colours. Let them do te like. Uh, buildings. Yeah, crossword. Crossword. Yeah. Learning um, uh, how to do multiplication. How about do your multiplication? How about putting thread it? through there? Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Threading through there. Threading and weaving. There. Yeah, a little bit of weaving. Mi uh, put your uh, um, ribbon. Yeah, ribbons that's... through there. I like that. Um, but don't just use it as a square. I've got a, a, 
a, a demo where I've just tore into it. So mm. mixed media cor corners as well. Yeah, thread or your ribbon, eighteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Five nine zero eight double three is your item number. Love these dies. Oh my goodness, there's more to see. There's oh, there's one that I'd really love to show you. We've got a great sample. Maybe later on in the show. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, Here's the website. Um, go and have a look at the strip frame die. Um, that is amazing. When we come back, I'll show you just a couple of samples when we come back um, because it's just amazing. It's, it's using the die for something completely different. Um, they are great dies. They're incredibly strong in their quality, so they're dies that are going to last you as well. Um, and remember, the cost of everything you can divide into two. We've also have some stamps as well, so go and check those out uh, if you can. Oh, seven day savers, yes. Now these were launched on Sunday and we have got some great savings for you. You'll see the price that they were. There's a line going straight through those and then the price in red is the sale price. So you can see there, we've got some great deals. We've got some all and create stamps for you. Red liner tape, always a must. Uh, we've got some bags as well for putting your um, cards in cellophane bags, yeah. Um, I just wanted to show you uh, that die, the comic strip frame die. So I want to show you a couple of samples if I can, because it's really um, hit home of how you can use these in different ways. It's a really cool die to have. Um, it's very, very on trend, this kind of geometric style to it, or that comic strip. Maybe you've got an app on your phone and you put photographs into frameworks like this. In fact, photographs in something like that would look really cool. But it's not just what you cut out and use. How about using the waste and use it to make houses? I love that sample, Karen. I was just sat clearing up last night and I just uh, dropped a couple on the piece of black and thought, oh, there the clouds is there. <laughs> what a fantastic idea. So think beyond the die itself. Uh, that one there is 092501. It's only 1899. Right, Karen, what are we going to have a look at? Well, we're going to um, use this this uh, flower die. And, and I've, been, I've been so intent on what you're doing, Janice. I've not got anything out yet. Story of my life. Yep. Yeah. I've, I've been hanging on every single word. Oh, where is it? It's here. This is it. This is beautiful die. So you've got the die yep. and you can feel how strong they are. It is fastened in the middle yep. uh, for your for your benefit. So you're not going to have a, you're not going to bend it or anything you else. You don't have to snip that or anything. You don't Karen, snip no. it. It's, it's completely, it's completely uh, built in. So okay. it's, it gives it, it gives it strength. Perfect. Yeah, from the, from the middle, yep. you've got the happy and the day. And then I'm going to do a 300 GSM. And you better work because you're going in bin. And Karen's not talking to me. No, nope, I'm talking. She's not talking to my producer, director or floor I'm not manager. talking to any person no. at all. I'm talking to a very naughty machine that decided to play up on me this morning. OK, let's see what happens now. It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, it will is. Will it or won't it's, it? it? Will it or won't it? <laughs> so I'm just twisting this a little bit because if yep. I pop it in that way, it's like speed bumps. The roller will go over there. Yep. It'll probably jump and then miss a little bit in the okay. middle. So if I can angle it a little bit. I mean, do get gamble responsibly but I'm thinking two to one are the chances of it going through um, on ten to one it's going in bit okay no even money it's going in bit that's less odds isn't it and it's got to start working because I phoned my mum afterwards and she says you are not buying a new machine <laughs> <laughs> yep she was telling me I couldn't buy a new machine there we go that should have gone through what I am gonna do just to be on the safe side you would, you do get, you know the shims like the, um, um, oh, roll, um, the, sh the shims that the two ladies bring, Barbara and the daughter. Yes, yes. Yeah, you could the use. The easy shims. The easy shims. Yes. You could use that. Don't forget, it's an intricate die. Yes. But I normally use the, the metal shim that comes with yeah. that. And when I've driven 55 miles this morning, I realise I've left it on its side. Oh, no. So I'm popping it through twice, but, uh, and this is a very, very, uh, so I think it's a 280, 300 cardstock. So let's see if we can get this through. You will have to excuse me. I will brush up when I've done. And 
And then they've got the holes in to... It's got four hole holes in at the sides. Okay. Yep. There's no holes around the, other, around the other part of it, but if you press all the four holes through, it allows it to come through. Now, when you have embossed a, a die like this, it will make it tight into your into your die because it's been through twice mm. it's had a pressure that's caught and it's also had the yeah. pressure that's popped it in so don't you know uh you would need to work it out but that's uh, you know as i'm working it out here taking it bit by bit instead of it just dropping out yeah. that's because i've embossed it but you can see here everything has come out and that's like a, a 300 i'll pop it on some black so you can mm -hmm. see there it's a beautiful die it's and although gorgeous. the die is connected in the middle karen that's come it, apart easily could you fold that back so it's like a like a gatefold what do you mean i don't know what i mean it's early it's early you karen. could do you could do that no i meant fold the designs out each side so they're like like little doors like so gate. if you fold it, what you would need to do is snip into there, like so, because there's, a, there's quite a little bit there, and then you could, we'll do it upside down, Yes. and then that would fold back out. Oh, I love ideas that you, that you throw at me, Janice. Makes you, makes you think more as well. Two, back, them, two minds are better than one, but yes. Yeah. Now you've got a big photograph. If you don't use a one-sided paper, yeah. you use a double, a, a, a full cut through to the yes. core, then yes, you could. Yeah. Yeah. And you could put like nearly a six before photograph into yeah, that one. Nice. And that's going to be, what, bear with, bear with. So sorry. I'll just get a piece of black paper and then I can show you, can show you that. So you're doing a, a scrapbook and you've done it all on one page. Oh, that'd look amazing. That'd look amazing, yeah. wouldn't it? Isn't that lovely? Absolutely <clears throat> gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. But also, what you can, what I have, what I've done for this card is I've cut two and just showing you how to cut them out. I'm just going to finish the leaves off here, and then that one's going to get snipped off. So I'm snipping into it. And this is where now you've got two separate designs. You could have that at the top of the card, the bottom of the card, two sides mm. of the card. Anywhere that you want to yeah. put them, yeah, yeah. I was as I was looking at this to uh, to actually to do the demo, I was thinking, oh, you can do this and you can do that. Um, the card is black card cardstock, but what I have done here is if I pop one on there, yeah, and one on there, ah, look at and that. then a ribbon across it. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, but also what you can do is, like you said, it's an envelope. It's on the back of an envelope. Yeah. Or if we get four together on a bigger sheet of card. I like that. You've got four together and these can also have, have envelopes just be stuck by that and you use it as a... Yeah. An envelope with it behind. I, I like it with the four. With the four. Yeah. Shall we do that one instead then? We can do whatever you like. Karen. We'll do that one instead. I don't we'll want to influence you one way or the other. I have no problem because I've got one that's done. This is the one that I was going to do. So that's the one that I've got with two together. Oh, that with is the, beautiful. With the ribbon across. Isn't that lovely? And the words are. We've added the words to the 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 poll, so yeah. they're on the website because they they were the paper rolls ones that yeah. we, that we've done. So that's. Do we have those sentiments on the show? They're, they're on the they're on the website. They've yes. not been brought onto the show. Um, I checked that they were still available. So um, okay, uh, we can have a look at a picture of them. Yeah. Actually, uh, we'll bring a picture of those if you do want to go for them because they'll they'll look excellent uh, with with your crafting. Uh, and remember, you can divide the cost of anything into two with the Flex Extravaganza event. Uh, Eleven pounds and ninety nine pence. There it is beautiful uh your own kind of uh, you are and then friend uh you are you are you are a beautiful friend oh you are beautiful friend yeah that would be nice uh you've got people days memories inside and out you are beautiful inside and out I wonder how they know that you're beautiful inside if they've got those x-ray glasses Ooh. um are they <laughs>
<laughs> well, I'm going to go to Smoochy and say uh, it's about your personality. Oh, that's the beauty that's in, the ins from within, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. it's not about gore and blood and guts. No, it's about no, the it's inner about you. the inner you. Oh. So, well, you're beautiful inside and out then. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Yeah. I only come here for compliments, you know. Oh, well, you get plenty of them. <laughs> so that's the one that we can do on a 12-12. On a, on a yes. And then the one that we said, so it's only cutting two out, and then we can do... That, that way. Oh. And then we can do I a like row. That. So you could do a row. Yeah, you could. Now that's a good idea. Yeah. So it's not just the square die. Yeah. It's everything that you 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 want to do, and you can also just cut the flowers out. They they could be like mini tiaras, or if you have them half wrapped around a candle. Oh, well, yes. That nice. would be that would be yeah. nice. So it's about cutting them out, cut them out, cut them out, and then play with them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah? And, and if you've got friends, speak to your friends, show your friends, because you've given me ideas that I didn't have. Oh. And, uh, well, you give me ideas that I give back to you. That's the thing. It's brilliant, You inspire me to it's think of brilliant. ideas to tell you. Yeah. And then we could just do it. At any point, it. you can tell me to shut up. I don't I mind. am not going to ever say that to you, Janice. Never. And then you've got a corner. Oh, You've that's got good. A corner. On a bigger sheet, you could have a corner there. I haven't even done anything with this demo. All I've done is cut it out. And a corner there. And this is how you get, this is how you, you bring up. And you could Aww. have something like love or family or something like that. Do you know what? That is, is that a twer If that was um, an A4 piece of card, it is an A4 that's piece an of card. That's an A4, yeah. yeah. I really like that, just putting it into the corners. If you've got a picture, family photograph again, how lovely and is that? And your family photograph will go... Something else I've just thought of. In there like that. Just doing a little happy <gasps> dance. You know when you, you get an you idea, get I get an eight a little... Ten. You get uh, an 8 by 10 photograph and yeah. you put one in each side. Right, here's my little happy go dance, because I've just thought of something else. You could laminate that and it'd be a little placemat. Certainly. Yeah. Certainly. You could laminate that yes. and you could write somebody's name in there and that would be a personalised. It would. OK, let's let's see if we can do another one. You could laminate that and it would be laminated. <laughs> <laughs> but there we go. So I didn't finish that one, but there you go. This was my idea to start off with. But, but you look can at do the different sorts. ideas that we've got from using that one die. Yes. That one investment now gets you all of these different designs that you can use. How creative is that? Yes, that's really creative. Mm. That's, that's the beauty with the... That's why I love paper rose dies, mm. because they're all... You have to just cut them out in... Um, not copy paper. Yeah. If you're cutting copy paper, but two or three layers. Through. Yes. Um, and then just cut them up. Yeah. And snippability yeah. to them, but... And, and but yet if you want something really quick, you just cut it out and put something in the middle. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Absolutely love that. Absolutely gorgeous. Love um, if you do want to go for the Happy Days cover plate die, nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. But you can divide the cost into two payments over two months. So it really is Happy Days, isn't it? It is. Five eight one six six one is your item number. There's so much on the show, so many fantastic dies, and I'm just really happy we have the Flex Extravaganza event because you know what it's like. You'll see something, you go, oh, I want that, and oh, now now I want that, and I want that, and then you look at your basket. And it's oh my goodness, it's just too much for you to afford that month. But if you were to split the cost over two months and have your budget for one month and then the next, you can get everything you want. So, hooray and happy days for Flex Stravaganza. The event actually runs until the 15th of January, um, and it's the sixth today, isn't it? The sixth today, yeah. Have you taken down your Christmas decorations? I took mine down yesterday, put the tree out. Oh, it's ever so sad. House looks really plain. Feels clean but plain. I need to maybe need to do some crafting and put some things on the wall. I don't know how Jane will feel about that with all the pictures that I do. Let's put this up. Oh, let's put that up. Anywho's, <laughs> anywho's, let's take a look at the other dyes we've got available for you on the show. Uh, we have got roses here from Paper Rose, would you believe? £16.99. pence. You can see here on this sample at the side how beautiful those roses are and the leaves as well and how delicate the dye is. Now, if I show you this sample, 
you can see here all the lines. This is what the die has cut out. It looks like a doodle, doesn't it? And then you can paper piece back in here. Uh, you could add colours into there if you want to. It's lovely. It's so, so pretty. Um, and then the snippability takes it even further. That's the same die, but snipped into, it looks smaller, doesn't it? because you've taken an element of that and used it on a different uh, project. It's a beautiful die, it really is. You could have it landscape, you could have it portrait, doesn't really matter which way you have that. And I can just turn, did I, did I do portrait as landscape and landscape as portrait? Yeah, well that's me, left, right, right, left. Coming, going, going, coming, neither, 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 potato, potato, and uh, tomato, tomato. Tomato? Yes. Basil, basil. What else is there? Neither, neither. Castle, castle. Bath. Bath and bath. Bath. Grass and grass. Scone and scone. Yeah, scone and, it's more scone and scone than grass and grass. Anyway, £16.99. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not scone until it's gone. I like that. Uh, 614365 is your item number if you want to go for that particular die. Right, let's move on because we've got so much more to show you. Uh, the next die we have, the daisies, beautiful daisies. And with this, again, you can divide the daisies up and use them separately. But you'll see, hopefully you can get the detail on here. I'll give it a bit of a wiggle. You can see the actual center of the daisies as well. I've got that detail in there. Beautiful. Let me show you what they look like when they come all together and you add your glossy accents in there. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? And as the, as the word describes, beautiful. Love that. Um, only £16.99, seven dies in that particular set. 214-517 is your item number. Now, we don't want to leave these out, do we? Uh, because leaves are always really, really important. And you can use these to build and create um, so many different designs. You could be making um, uh, a wreath, for example. Um, you could add all the leaves together. You could cut them out in different colours as well, just to show you what they'd look like. In both directions. Leaves may be falling down. Are you ready? Falling down, leaves, falling down, leaves. Or turn them the other way. And they're floating leaves. Floating leaves, floating leaves. Um, anyway, £9.99. pence. I'm just thinking of a book's life when I look at these. And you could turn these leaves into little boats for the books. So maybe if you've got some dyes, for ants or anything like that. There could be little boats for ants. 263773 is your item number. Uh, nine pounds and 99 pence is your item number. I know, it's early. Uh, right, remember the frame. I love this, the comic strip frame. I think this is fabulous. Using it as it is intended, just like that, uh, with a little word at the bottom. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? Uh, which is brilliant. You can use the pieces that you cut out and put them back in so you can change. Let me just bring this in to show you. There you go. Uh, so you can use the blocks that it cuts out or you can use the actual frames from the die. And then with the pieces that you take out, how about making your little houses? Love that sample. I think that is brilliant. And just goes to show the different things that you could do with it. You could also use it as a window. It's like a stained glass window, actually. If you were to colour the acetate with your alcohol markers, that's a shaker card. £18.99, pence. Nine, uh, 092501 is your item number if you want to go for that one. And remember, you can divide the cost of anything into two monthly payments. Anything over £5. Right. Next up, I love this die. Love retro Polaroid style pictures. Um, I think it's fabulous. Um, here's a little pad for you uh, with the frontage being the picture frame. Oh, just for you, little giraffe. Let's show you what the die is cut out to see. There you go. So you've got your little banners, your little tags, and you've also got your picture frames as well. Can't believe this is only 11 99 for four dies in that particular set. It's a very, very good price. 775-501 is your item number. Only £6 in your flexi basket. Half the stock has gone, but isn't it great? If you're making a card for somebody, if you were to cut out a frame like that and put that on their birthday card with a picture of them, maybe it's their 40th, maybe it's their 18th, you can put a picture of when they were younger. You can't put a picture of when they were older, but you can put a picture of when they were younger um, in there. Unless you're, a ti unless you're time travel, you could move into the future, take a picture of them in the future. This is what you're going to look like when you're 60. <sighs> 
from from the internet you know apps oh yeah you can use you can, an app kind do you know what you can use an app to age you they use one for me every time i come on her chanda <laughs> it's it's an aged filter you're 21 really I, you? when, 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 when they've got four running at the moment <laughs> 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 listen why erase a lifetime of laughter that's what i say that's it don't do it these are not wrinkles they're laughter lines that's right yeah i've laughed a lot in my life as you can tell <laughs> <laughs> right, moving on. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> oh dear me! Uh, this looks like a, a piece of a Dalek. Yes, yes it does. It's, uh, I, it was. It, you, you know when you get these little stamps with little faces on? Yeah. And I thought that you could start putting them outside of the faces, uh, putting the faces through them. But it's ideal. Um, everything that I can see on the counter today is just a case of rubbish through all your old back, all your backgrounds that you've been making. Yeah. We've got loads of them. They all work with everything that you've been making at home. There's some super dyes on the show. And something a little bit different, and that's what we love. Uh, that looks great. Just circles on, on a card, but doesn't it look interesting? And here is the die on a gift bag. I love that. It's almost like Connect Four. Other games are available. Um, or you could colour them in. It could be like a die. It could be a um, domino. Tic-tac-toe for your fridge. Tic-tac-magnet. Tic -tac yeah, tic-tac-toe for your fridge. Um, noughts and crosses. Other games? What other games? If you do two or three or four, you can make them like twiddly, uh, tiddlywinks. You could. You could make like a, a chess board. Yes. Or a drafts board. Just in, in, stamp, if you've got, there are stamps out there with all the chess pieces on, you could stamp them on there and just have it. And, you and know, do it like magnetic. That'd be yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Oh, fabulous idea. £12.49. pence. Five zero 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 six. What does... What did that say? Did that say fries? I'm really hungry now. Oh no, it says rise. I thought it. I just saw. I just saw. I just saw the side of that, and I thought it said fries. And then I just got really hungry all of a sudden. It says memories. Oh, it says memories, not but fries. I didn't put anybody's photo in. I just put some stamps that we've got on the website. Oh, little giraffe. I'm quite. Oh, pleased said with that giraffe. One. That's, that's handy. Don't normally now. say giraffe. That's Don't normally say giraffe. What's giraffe. happening to me? I'm morphing. Uh, right. It's my accent that's rubbing off on you. <laughs> Something is. <laughs> right, Karen. Back, are we going back to Karen? We are. Not for sensibility, surely. Not today. I don't know what it is. So I've got the two borders. You can see one is quite curved and one is straight. And, and these I'm, are the hearts. And these are the hearts ones. Putting them on an angle so that they don't go like over the speed bump. You might hear a bump with it, but... Don't worry too much. I should have had uh, perhaps bigger plates. That's the speed bump effect. Yep. Or it's objecting to me giving me a stern talking to. <laughs> and then there you go. So this is all collected. A few shaker cards. Cut out first time. And we've got a nice little border save me tape that one comes off that one comes off there's a few in there you just even down to them being a, a it's still sturdy yes yeah. for a it's only a it's a strip isn't it yeah and it's still sturdy and we've got these through here that's out so we've got a nice little strip going there and then we've cut this out I cut one out this morning that one's been cut out however what I am going to do is I'm going to pop it on top of there and the outline is going to make it look padded oh I see yes yeah. so I'll show you are you there we it are there makes now. it look padded. Yeah, it does. So I'm going to show you how to do that bit, if that's all right. Yeah, to make, how to make absolutely. it look padded. So what you can, there are two ways that you can do it. You can put the die through mm. and just emboss it. Yeah. And then, and cut it round the outside. However, what I'm going to do is I've got some sticky, double-sided sticky, and it's very much like clarity. So you know, trap the scrap. Yep. I'm going to pop it onto there with some tape when you do that effect as well if you use some glossy accents it will capture it in the leaves wouldn't it it would yeah it would that like that yeah yeah 
I'm going to bob that through and hopefully if this works. Now what's really nice about the rose that you've cut out there in black or if you cut it out in white, I guess any colour really, but black and white are quite effective on backgrounds like you know if you did a wash background or just did a bit of splattering of inks for example and then had that image in black or white just simplistically running across it would look amazing so, yeah absolutely absolutely and i've i've been pulling a lot of the backgrounds out so it's still within there now i've lost a little bit but i'm trying to see where that is that's there so i'm going to take that and pop that back in there okay now with the dyes you can use them on super smooth card water colored card can you any any card any any card i've noticed that these go through thicker cards than thicker card than, yeah. than normal there are some dyes that are as intricate as this that will only go through like a, a 200 or a 240 Trying to pick that up and pop it back in there. Uh, we've got some watercolour card as part of the seven day savers actually. We've got some great discounts on those. So if you do want to stock up with watercolour card, then head to the website and we'll show you the uh, seven day savers. So you've got your soft white, which is 300 GSM, your watercolour card, uh, and that's got your three mil backing board. And you also, uh, with that, with that backing board, of course you can do your, your, your different projects. You won't be die cutting with that but you would probably be placing your uh, projects onto that. So that's a great deal. So if you want to go for that uh, seven day saver, that's 9.84. We've also got some assorted sheets of gray board available for you. Um, and we've got some craft card for you and also those bags as well, the cellophane bags. So when you make and create and you want to sell, then you've got um, your bags to put them all in as well. So that's your seven day savers. Your watercolour card, just to show you the size of it, it's fabulous, really is. So yes, use this with your die cuts, cut into it or use it as intended as watercolours uh, and make some beautiful paintings with that. So it's a great deal uh, for your watercolour. Uh, it's nine pounds and eighty-four pence, and the item number is four three nine four one three. Superb. Seven day savers are great if you go and have a look. They're amazing value for money. So I'm making a meal out of that, and I'm not going to bother now. <laughs> I've got my little bit there to stick on afterwards. Every time I keep sticking it back in, it jumps out. I've got a double-sided um, sticky, and I'm going to pop it all on there so they all should be ready to come up to to stick and i'm wanting to stick it into into it and then you would just cut round it so let's see if i can get it all out in one go it's all come out yeah yep so that's come out in one go and i don't want to stick my scissors up so do bear sorry sorry forgot that i needed this Anti-static oh. mats. <clears throat> so that put some powder on. It's uh, yeah, it's like full of some sort of uh, some powder, and that stops the static, but it also stops it being sticky. Ah, that's a good idea. Yeah. And then you can cut round it. If you're cutting round a die to put a colour underneath, always yeah. cut out at an angle into it like that. Okay. The reason being is if you cut straight like that, you're going to see it. You cut at an angle, sort of with your scissors halfway underneath it and halfway on top, then you would be able to, uh, you, you can get, get away with not seeing too much of it. Plus, okay. you don't need to have all of it, all of it showing. And I should use smaller scissors. And there we go. I'm just cutting this out. Do you want to go down counter a second while I cut this out? Yeah, I'll just pick up. I've got a question actually, yeah. Karen, because we've we've could we not put the die back on that and run that through the machine? No. Ooh. You I, I don't know. We'll have a go. I'm just thinking I've got to some save card if not. I'm just thinking you to, to, to save you fussy cutting because if it's possibly if it's the outline, it won't cut in Hmm. I don't know. Just yes, an it idea. would cut back into it. It would cut it. back into it, it yeah. So we haven't got the outline done. It was just a random thought. Sorry yep. about that. Yeah. Uh, whilst Not you're cutting that, that, that was a good thing. Was, whilst you're cutting that out, I've got a few more to show you. Uh, shall I start with the trellis? Um, yeah. So we've got 
uh, the, 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 the texture. Uh, love this one, actually. Uh, it looks like you've just torn it out of a design. £12.99. This is your texture. This is number two. Uh, 725897 is your item number. It reminds me of a waffle. As, you, as you're eating the waffle, maybe, with the ice cream. Um, and let's pop that there so you can see those together. Uh, and then I'll show you a couple of samples of what it would look like as a background. It's really cool, isn't it? Very, very good. Um, either that is like fishnet stockings. £12.99, 725.897 is your item number. And then we've got, shall I go for the die? Yeah, let's go for the die. Uh, so this die will cut out. These are separate, are they? Ah, uh, okay. So having the die would cut out the outline. I think you need the stamp and the die, don't you? Together. I think you do. Because I think if you bought the die on their own, it would just cut out the shape. I think you need the stamp. Yeah. You can go for the stamp on its own. But if you're going for the die, you need to go for them both together. Um, just, I mean, if you want to go for the die on its own, you're more than welcome to do so, but it might just be a shape. Yeah, I think, I think they're intended to be together. So the stamp, £16.99, 407844, and then the sets together, £19.99. Is that right, or is that just, no? If you wanted to put them both in your basket at the same time, you can do. And what would that be? 19.99 and 16.99 because you really need them both. We are calculating the price. 36.98 for both of them, but you can divide the cost 18 pounds 49 today and another 18 pounds 49 in a month's time. I just want I just want to let people know because go for the stamp, fantastic. But if you just go for the die on its own, it's just going to cut out a shape. It'll cut out that shape. You see that? It'll cut out that shape, uh, which is all right. But if you don't like fussy cutting, go for both of them together. That's what I recommend. It's entirely up to you what you do, but it's nice, a, a little recommendation for you. One another. Uh, okay, so that's that one. Uh, then we have, just to show you the stamps, what they look like when you stamp them out. So they do look gorgeous. And of course, using the dies as well to cut them out precisely saves your fussy cutting uh, right let's go we're we going back to Karen yeah let's go back to Karen so that's the one I've roughly cut out however is one that I did that I got more time on and all I'm gonna do is get a little bit of glue and stick it on and finish the card off the special friend the greeting that you can see yes and what you can see here is I'm not putting glue on everything because I just want little if, if you just glue it at certain areas mm -hmm. then you're gonna it, it'll it'll stick but the special friend is the the stamp sets that we've popped onto the show and then this one fits in exactly like that spend a little time cutting it out uh the the other one cutting cutting it out pop that into there that goes in and it makes it look padded makes it look padded pop this one on with a bit you can pop a bit of ribbon on or not i'll not bother popping ribbon on because we'll make this one a little bit different and these out these once you've done the die cutting it's just showing you how quickly the cards will go together that's so pretty the yeah. busiest so far have been the wave borders actually the wave borders yeah, i really like this love heart one uh the wave borders 80 percent of the stock has gone um, very wonderful. busy for those actually so this one is that one and we've just done it uh, just a little bit different I didn't do any stamping or anything it was just the oh, prepping that's... up for that but oh yeah if we turn it this way they could be like the the drapes of a stage along the top maybe let me just bring that in to show you what our director means there you go yeah the top of a stage yes yeah mm. Yeah, Very I said good. that this morning. That is such a pretty card you've it made is. there. It's pretty. And it didn't take a lot, really. Yeah. However, there is another way just to emboss, to uh, to to put one into. Yeah. And I'll just get a little piece of card stock. We'll get some plain card stock. Uh, what colour shall we go for? Shall we go for black? We'll go for black and cut, cut it in half mm -hmm. and using the die just so if you'd cut out a, um, a square or a, a, a 
a shape yes that you were going to pop on the inside of a, of a card and you'd shaped it up pop your die on and tape it down don't put um with your die machine don't have it so that it cuts just put it straight onto the embossing that's not embossing is it that's another piece of card <laughs> <laughs> so you've got your embossing mat yeah and all dye machines usually have one okay i'm popping it straight onto there putting my package together like i don't you know the layers yeah i'm just going to pop that straight through so i'm not wanting that to cut you just, just want it to, it to emboss and if you've just got this the right size you've just got it embossed there oh that's beautiful shall i what am i all right to bring it up like that. So that would just you know what? A bit of gilding wax, bit on, of gilding that. wax on yeah. that. And you've got it embossed. Yeah. If you, the reason that it, that's creased is because of the pressure of yeah. my, my die cutting machine. That and the looks way that fantastic. Love but, that. Yeah. Now, Karen, we've got about five minutes left of the show. What would you like to show us next? So Love you, that, you, demo. You, the, you, the stamps and the... Um, the stamps and the... Uh, the dies. The dies that you said go as one. Who's on those two Rory sketches the, 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 then? The, um, the, the, um, the outside. No, the, You've got to mind read. You've got to mind read. I used to love those sketches where they used to come up with words to fill in the words they couldn't remember. Brilliant. He said, do you know, as you get old, when you get to my age, you start saying, watch him call it. You know, um, oh, I um, know exactly what you're talking about when you say thingamajig and watch him call it. Thingamajig. So, I've you know, got, the doodah. The doodah. So I've got a, a card that I've cut out. I have cut one of these out. And all I'm going to do is I want it to go to frame the card. So we're going to say cut it into four. And you're using for that one. I'm using that <coughs> one. The grid. The grid. Yeah. Do you um, like this grid? The grid is very useful. I think it'd be great for, for uh, oh, you know, like when you're losing weight and you can put your pound, your pound well, lossage. You wouldn't eat it. No, when you're losing weight and you start recording all your weights. Oh, and right. You, you put a box in for every pound that you lose. Well, some, some paper you can eat, that's sugar paper. Oh, sugar paper's nice. I used to love that. Yeah. Mind you, you mind you, they did, they did have it wrapped around cigarettes, didn't they? Not real cigarettes, chocolate cigarettes. These are the sweets we had to eat when we were kids. We did, didn't we? Yeah. Chocolate cigarettes. What yeah. a sweet to give yeah. your child. I used to love them. We used to go out and buy packets of cigarettes. We edible did. Edible ciggies. We did. Edible cigarettes. Oh. So I'm just rubbing in together a background there. And then, oh, it's too much glue on there. Do that, take it off. It'll not go too much. How long we got now? Um, three minutes, Karen. Three minutes. Mm -hmm. So I've die cut um, the words. I've die cut the bee that's yeah. on it, and I've die cut the flower. And then, oh, so you've not stamped yet? Oh, I've you're not stamping on them. I'm going to stamp, but this is my, my main die cut. Yeah. So I, I cut one out, and then I pop it onto my stamping platform. I get my, I've kept my dies virtually together. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm terrible at misplacing. Are you? I am. So I'm going to pop my die in and my stamp in so it fits. And then I've got the thanks, haven't I? There. That one. And then I've got the B. And that's going into there. Now, this is a different way of doing it, because normally people would stamp first and then die cut. I get it. I miss it every single time. But look, I've not... This is great. I'm so you're using that as a template. As a template. What a good idea. To pop that in there. And it fits in exactly, because that's where I've, I've virtually die cut it out. Yep. And then I'm going to use a Versify. You've got two minutes left. Two Karen. minutes, not plenty to race, of time. But just to let you know, it's always good to have a time check. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. And then uh, make sure that stays in there. And I'm just, I'm doing all three at one go. Yeah. Three fers. A three fer. A three fer. 
Just rubbing it nicely. Perfect. Do you know, dentists like twofers, you know? Two for ones. Talking about the dentist, I'm going tomorrow. Are you going today? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? I've got an emergency appointment tomorrow. Oh dear, hope you're all right. Oh, I'm fine. I've been. Uh, what time's your appointment? 2.30? Half past four. No, 2.30 we're already booked up by some mules in pain. Oh, right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, you've got a minute, Karen. I've got a minute. I've got a minute. Well, I'm not going to pop that together. I'm just going to, you know, I'm gonna get some glue on it, girl. We'll just pop the thanks down. Oh. And then you've got your little insect. And he's going to fly there. Oh. And then it's just that little bit miss that's stuck in my eye. Get a little bit there. Take that out. She says. Pushing now you can in. see all the dyes that we've got available on the website. You can still buy them and still get that great um, flex extravaganza by dividing the cost into two. We've had some wonderful dyes on the show. Something different for the new year. Absolutely love them from Paper Rose. All on direct dispatch as well, so you don't have to wait for that. Karen, that is That's lovely. Lovely. Thank you. It's flown. I it? know. It's flown by. Thank you so much for your two shows today. Do you know when you're back? Uh, the 12th. Of January. 12th of January. That sounds what? like a song title. 12th of January, I don't know 14th why. and 18th. Uh, ooh, like a bus. Busy girl, yeah. Like a bus. I've seen you parade. You said you come all round at once. I know. Uh, right, Karen. Thank Lovely you. to see you. Have a good rest of the day. Thanks, Please stay everybody. where you are. We've got more shows coming up for you here on Her Chanda. Right, yes, we're letting Leone loose. We love those shows. She's coming up next. She, the cat's mother, Leone's coming up next. Then it's Heartfelt Creations One Day Special and then Crafts 2 Best of 2020. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. If you're watching a show with me on Hochanda you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce and it's all very much mixed media, so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We brought them to a chander and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. So join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colours, textures and creating depth and dimension. 
Online Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce, we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Hachanda. Welcome, it's marvellous to have you company. We're having a little bit of a giggle um, at my baking attempts. So there he is behind the screen. Behind the, behind screen, the again. screen. Don't you worry. I'm Not there. just a random pole, there's a <laughs> screen there. Um, hello, dear. How are you? I'm marvellous, oh, thank you very much. Good, good, good. Marvellous. Uh, but we're starting with you, apparently. Yeah, this is, isn't it? Yeah, we are. Both of us together. No. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. Um, okay, so what we're talking about today, we are talking about uh, Troll Factory. I love it because when I first um, was introduced to Troll Factory, like, what are they? What am I going to be selling? Um, because, I mean, it's a fabulous name, isn't it? Uh, we've done them before where we've done molds or silicone. We, we're selling the silicone for you to create your own molds. Now, we've got silicone on the show that you can use with resin and stuff, but what we wanted to do today was mainly concentrate on molds that you can use for food. These are food grade molds that you are creating. So, what I have done, I have used my mold. I've used one of these, now I love this, obviously um, from India, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I love that design, I thought that would make the most beautiful mould. So I have used that to make the mould that has then allowed me, and you'll have to excuse me, my, my tray, I've given myself one that I've partly eaten. <laughs> started nibbling. Started eating. <laughs> and a, another one that I broke, so I've also started eating. <laughs> I've, given, I've given Adams a nice one. Um, but if I pick it up like that, it looks like I haven't started eating it. I dipped that one in chocolate just to see what it would do. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Look doesn't it? it looks amazing. I made some biscuits dipped in chocolate. <laughs> I didn't give you one of them. I only did one. Um, but, but from that size, you can also... This is the one I decided to see what brown sugar would do over the top of it. It don't look great, so don't bother putting brown sugar over the top of it. Uh, but I were experimenting. But it allows you a lot, lot, lot brown sugar over top. Yeah, don't look great. But the biscuits taste absolutely fine. But you can go from creating your own mould to making biscuits with that mould. Now, I think that is fabulous. I've also done some chocolates, and obviously we'll um, we'll show those as well. I'm not making chocolates here today. I can tell you that now. Uh, but but we are going to show you how to actually do the process. And I love it because it allows you to create so many different things. So what I have done. Because I only had one of these, um, it meant that I wanted to do one that was prepped for you to show you the unveiling. Because obviously it's a time consuming process. Um, now, you can get, this is really, really handy. So what you've got here is your box frame. So it allows you to adjust the size of the frame depending on what you're casting. 
I highly recommend this, not just for this silicone, but for your normal silicone as well um, that you're making, you know, your normal moulds with. It's really, really handy. And I must admit, I wish I'd have had this for the first show rather than trying to find bottles and things like that to actually make my frame with. Um, all you do is you put your frame together depending on the size. And I'll take you from the beginning. This is the, the end stage, but this is the way I had to do it. Then this just starts peeling off. Okay, so I've got my silicone in there. This just peels away from the silicone and you can see. You can also see it's peeling away from the clay. So I've got my clay in there and I've got my silicone because I was working on something like this. And you have to think about it. I love it because you have to think about it. I was working on something like this, so I only wanted my mould at the top of this. I didn't want a mould that were going to go all the way down. So you use your clay that you also get in your casting box. Um, you use the clay to build that up. And we will be showing you that in just a few seconds. You then start to peel it off, OK? And I'll just show you what I'm doing. It's very satisfying. Now, I haven't... I don't know what this is going to be like. <laughs> Because obviously it's been overnight, but oh, seriously, look at that mould. This moulding material is highly flexible. It picks up detail. It's highly detailed. Isn't that beautiful? Imagine making biscuits with that. You can use a uh, dough with this. So you can uh, you can make your own cake moulds with it. You can make chocolate moulds with it. You can use it for your marzipan, for your icing, for pastry. I mean, you can do all sorts. It is. Um, it will, uh, sorry, so 25 minutes to actually use the, the actual material um, when you've mixed it. You then need to let it cure for about six hours, but actually you can take it out the box frame. I think it's at about an hour, depending on the depth of the, the actual mould, but you can take it out and then let it cure. It can then go in the oven, so this can withstand temperatures. I think it's 260 degrees Celsius if you put it in for about 15 minutes. If it's about an hour or two hours, then it drops to 240 degrees Celsius. Um, I remembered everything. <laughs> wow. Um, this is how I used to fluke exams, you know. If I read the information five minutes before an exam, it went, it went in. Ask me in an hour, it'll have all evaporated. That's how I got through my exams. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, soaps, waxes, things like that, absolutely perfect because it withstands the heat, which is wonderful. The clay, so the clay will then come off. So obviously, I did stick the mould down onto the, the thing, the box. So you'll take, I take all this off because then I can reuse my clay again and again and again. It does come off. See, now I had a hole in mine, so some of it has seeped out, but it's not a big deal. You just, you're careful with it because you don't want to waste your, um, your casting material. Material. It is super, super flexible. And I mean, what I love about it, it doesn't stick to the clay, which means you can peel it off so easy and that allows you to reuse that clay again and again. The block is absolutely perfect. I mean, I'll definitely be able to use that for my crafting. Um, the, obviously, your box, you're ready to use that again and again and again, which is marvellous. Honestly, really, really good system. And then, of course, you've created a fabulous mould. The mould you can then use for that. The mould you can then use to create <laughs> your own <laughs> half-eaten biscuits. <laughs> that is amazing. Isn't it cool? Isn't it cool? It just opens up a whole new world yes. of mould making. Because, yes, we're all, we're all well and good. Yes, we've got Zuri out there. But if you're not into those shapes and their designs that you give, and you've got a mould at home, or you've got a, a stamp at home, you think, oh, I'd love that. Maybe it's your name. Maybe it's your name that you've had carved out of wood. Or it, could be, it could genuinely be anything at all. Because all you're doing is making a cast. And once you've made that cast, you can use that again and again and again for your cookies for your doughs, for your cakes, for your clay, for your polymer clay, for your cards and embellishments if you want to go slightly smaller with them as well. But once again, it's coming down to the right tools for the job. This is food grade safe. It's the first time I've worked with it. I think it's an absolutely amazing little product that now opens, opens up brand new doors that you would never have used it before. Because it kills two birds with one stone, excusing the pun. 
for the sheer fact, yes, it's food grade safe, but if you think, well, I don't want to use that for food anymore, I'll just use it for my clays or my resins, it will still withhold all that heat and temperature that you've got from your resin as well. So you think, I'll leave the food now, I'm just going to use it on my, on my cards. Well, you can do that, and you're getting £36.99. and pence. I want you to ignore that price on screen. Ignore that price on screen. Remember, we're in the event for extravaganza. Any price I'm about to give you, split the cost onto two. £18.50 today will get you both of these home. So you can start creating moulds after moulds after moulds after moulds. Now, obviously, it depends on the size of the mould, depends on how much you use, obviously. But look at what you can create. This is a first. Biscuits. 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 It's normally cards I, I hold up. I some biscuits See, and I the chocolates. And I did me chocolates. Look at that. And then this, this in this box is the pièce de résistance. Well, I don't work. know. Wow. They're not shiny. I didn't go for shiny chocolate. I mean, oh, I... Look at my chocolate. Look at Vegan. Them. Vegan chocolates. Little truffles that we've got in bah, there. Bah, bah. But this is the thing. You can now do this with the kids. You can now start doing things like this at home. Because it's food grade safe, have ice cubes for parties. Yeah. For your sangrias in the summer. Because no doubt we'll all be still stuck indoors. <laughs> so, uh, have your garden parties. Use them for your garden parties and things like that. It opens up a whole new door. 045-265 is your item number. £36.99, but ignore that price because I want you to pay on flexible payments because we are still in our vent flex extravaganza. Then... This is what Alioni was talking about. This is the casting box with the clay itself. Now, obviously, you get everything you need as it's stuck together uh, because you get the safety tips that are in there. Simply take it off, and it can be as big or as small as you wish because, obviously, you just take them all the way to the edges. So we can go from that size all the way down. Your base plate is 20 meters, uh, 20 centimeters, 20 meters, uh, 20 centimeters square. You simply then just clip it back in and it's good to go. So for things like your bars of soap that you're going to be creating, all those resin pours that you're dying to make when you get them home but you don't know how to, you're finding cardboard boxes and you've got a glue gun and you're trying to seal up all the ends of cardboard, you don't need to do that anymore. All those times have gone. For the sheer fact, you are now getting, it's perfect every single time. And you get the base, £12 in your flexible basket, so it's £12 a day and £12 in a month time. Then you throw in your clay as well, your reusable clay, uh, time and time again. Once again, you get 250 grams in this bundle of your clay. If you put this, combine this with the first project that we've just seen, you are good to go to start creating amazing things. 423000 is your item number. Maybe you want to go slightly bigger, but you think, well, I don't want to use air dry clay because that would dry hard. How about 500 grams worth of clay? 500 gram clay, uh, we've got it on the show, £10.99 uh, is what you're looking at. So what would that be? 5 99 on your first flexible payment. Uh, 328959 is your item number uh, for your larger block of clay that we've got there, which is absolutely beautiful. And then, something else that you may want to go for as well... Uh, you know, your two-part moulds, making your 3D sculptures. You've got the top and you've got the bottom. Uh, you might need some of this. This is some of your release agent that we use on there. Uh, so you'd make the first mould, then you'd put this on top, and then you'd pour your second half of the mould straight in. Four ninety nine across two flexible payments is what you're looking at for this at the moment. Six four five two zero four is your item number. Well worth having a little look at that as well. If I was you, uh, something else. If you're thinking that's all well and good, Adam, I like the idea, but I'm not into the baking. I don't need it to be food safe. I just want to make my moulds. I just want to make things. Well, we've got that for you as well. Now, I've got two different ones uh, for you on today's show. Uh, 760624 is your item number. £30.99. Now, I must say, these are not food safe. Okay, so we've been to the food safe ones. I've got them on the show. If you're just tuning in and you're thinking, oh, they're baking cookies and chocolate, this is not the ones. These are the ones for your silicons, for your clays and things only. These are not food safe. Now, there are two types under the same item number. You have medium and you also have the hard as well. Uh, the hard, it's how they feel when they come out of the mould. As you can see, sort of the lighter green one, this is your medium, has got a bit more of a squidge to it. So that's your soft, okay? 
And then the medium hard, it might, uh, it might be easy with this one because it's got a bit more, is a bit more, you can feel the resistance in your hand. Okay, so you can feel the difference. So obviously, if you're going to pull them out, if you're going to be using it and using it and using it, I'd be going for the hard. If it's just, I'm going to use it now and then, I, just, I, I would go for sort of the lighter green one, go for the medium, if I was you that's in it. So you've got those little, it's all a bit more squidgier. Uh, that's in. £30, but look at what you can create when you get them home. If I find the... Uh, so this one, for example, uh, this is a Leone's own, which has been used time and time again, and it's still in full working order, uh, can create keys that look like these. You can be creating beautiful keys that look like this from your own mould. Maybe, maybe you think, well, how, how do I get a key? Maybe it's your own front door key. Maybe you're going to start putting embellishments on the front of your cards because um, you want it to look realistic. So it's like a house-moving card. You're going to put a nice little key on the front. Things like that. Old buttons that you can do. Uh, frames that you can do as well. There is so many more things that you can use this for. Uh, I would definitely be thinking about some of this. Uh, £30.99. pounds 760624 is your item number. If you are cocking... This is rare. You might want some brand new bamboo spoons on the show that we've got as well. Happy hour deal. Well, I know. £30 off. £13.50 today. And you've got flexible payments on this as well. Flexible payments. And you've got a bit of everything. Spatulas in there. They're all bamboo. You've got your spaghetti spoon that's in there. You've got your, your, your soup spoon. You've got your drainer in there, your wooden spoon for stirring, uh, a nice little gift uh, for someone that's just moved home maybe as well. We've also got these little a drying rack. It's lovely. A lovely little drying rack that you've got in there. You, don't even think drying rack, because I would think um, paper rack. So to put your, so to dry your papers in, if you like, yeah. It is nice. It's, it, all your craft items. Spoons but, as well. I actually I really oh, like. I genuinely spoons. like the spoons. I genuinely thought when I said we've got spoons on the show, oh, oh here we go. I'm not right. Here we go. We've been back to TK Max again. <laughs> we break the we break the January <laughs> jumble sale. <laughs> no. <laughs> All the jumble shell shops are available. Uh, I like the dry mat with the little with the skewers I that do. you get in there. Then you've got do. the cleanup bundle. So this <laughs> I'm needing it now. Yeah, Leonie's kitchen. She was, Leonie was telling us about her kitchen, about baking last night. Cheeky little bombs it, that one. Mm. Uh, so, well, when Leonie goes down the car boot to sell the biscuits, this is the <laughs> kitchen half. You get 20 reusable freezer bags in there, fresh bags in there. You get uh, four of the sponges, two with scourers, two just normal sponges. You get 12 natural pop-up sponges. I thought, what's a pop-up sponge? I know, I want to have a go at them. Can, Matt, can we get a jug of water? <gasps> please, oh, Let's have a lick a look at a bubble I'm, I will get one out for Leone. Leone can do it because obviously we're not allowed. Uh, I will sanitise it all. But let's have a go at a pop-up sponge. Oh, very what exciting. That's what dreams are made of. Oh, uh, right then, uh, there are details. This. £9.90, 74 pence. £9.74. 405738 is your item on the scarab. Bags, pop-up sponges. Sponges galore. You can't go wrong. Boom. Boom. Back to you. Sorry. Back to me. Hello and welcome. OK, so what I'm doing is now... This takes time, so bear with. It's, I've already started. So the plan of action is, have you tasted one? Are they all right? They're not They're too well bad. Not. Ah, do you like them? But, Take uh, them there. You're not discerning it because no, it's telly and I'm well, here looking at you staring. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't need it. I'd sort of suddenly put it back. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was well chuffed. I made some biscuits. OK, so... Um, what you're doing is, what you're doing is, with your frame, so pop your, you think, no, I must admit, I wish I'd have put this further down, um, but it doesn't matter, but I wish I had, but it doesn't matter. Um, so, with your frame, when you're building your frame up, the outside bits, these, that goes on the outside, so your little L, your little L bit goes on the outside, okay, and then... You'll pop that, hold on, I need to think about it. So to pop that there, where's my other one's gone? You'll pop this one here, and you'll pop this one here. Okay, like this, so I need to move this in. And then you kind of move them round, depending on the size. And it is really good, because it allows you to adjust it, so you're literally not going to waste any silicone. So I can bring that up really nice and close, to my my um, 
my little owl that I'm casting so I'm not going to waste any silicone. I know that's going to be the size that I'm going. Uh, before I actually pin that in, I'm just going to build up the wax. Now, you have got the two wa um, waxes, so, sorry, clays. You've got the clay, the first clay that you get with it, that's a slightly harder clay. I tell you what though, it's a good clay. I mean, you can do all sorts with this stuff. You can actually, and hopefully in the second hour, I want to make a little house because I want us to cast a house because you can actually now mold your own things so you can make your own things to actually mold what you're doing however here right, right. you want the clay to go right up to your mold well so were you hey you hero thank you <laughs> um i heard him say the nice to gang so what i'm doing is making sure oh, hi, <laughs> i didn't hi. make enough um what i'm doing and the vegan um is making sure it goes right up to the edges just think if there's holes your silicone is going to go in it, okay? So this will stop your silicone seeping into any sort of nooks and crannies. So uh, so just think about it. I must admit, when I was tired last night, I were having trouble thinking about it. But you just think about where you do not want your silicone. So what do I want moulded? I only want my little owl moulded. I don't want this top bit. So I only want my silicone mould to be here. I only want it there. So that's where I have to put this. I then need to start building this round because obviously, and this is, so this is the other clay. This isn't the clay. That is quite a hard clay and I knew I needed to be really quick with this. So I'm using the big one. This is the one that's sold on its own. This is a super soft clay um, because this is really, really pliable. and.